the official KFC Radio uh, stance on this Cunning. is cum. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cum box. <laughs> it's Jason's cum box. Are you ready? How many people do you think have jumped in front of Mike's trains this past month? What? How many people? Well, in the, within since I started working. Yeah. Okay, Mike is our new intern. It's KFC Radio on the Barcelona Sports Network. Mike's our new intern. You've been working here since when? June. June. It's the middle of August. That's two and a half months. How many times has somebody jumped in front of your train? Confirmed two. Jesus. But, like, there was another one that I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the other one the other day was like I was sitting at the uh, station. The first two, I'm like, oh, fuck. You know? <laughs> Isn't that that is one of the funniest? I've, I've been living here for five years. I have zero. Okay, well, I was gonna say, <laughs> I think that is the, you know, a lot of people have their corny like, when did you become a New Yorker moment? When someone jumps in front of your train, confirmed, and your reaction is like, fucking come on. <laughs> That's when you're a New Yorker. <laughs> when you are more upset that you've been inconvenienced by someone splattering themselves, <laughs> you don't think about them, you don't think about their family, you don't think about the poor people who have to like clean up the platform and the track and oh. hose, the, hose down the, the fucking hose. front of the train. <laughs> you just go, you are you the... fucking kidding me? That's train traffic, motherfucker. <laughs> you don't think the, th the therapy the conductor is going to need to go through? That guy <laughs> was like honking, like, get out of the fire. Oh, my God. And then, you know, you know what? They're the realest New Yorkers. Those guys are like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I don't give a shit. Train traffic, my ass. Just plow through these people. I mean, there really should be like a, there should be like a suey track. You know, where it's like, if you want to do it, you do it over here. You know, on like this, this, this line here is not as frequently, there's not as much traffic, not as many people. You're not going to disturb. And they just, like pedal to the metal, <laughs> snow piercer that shit, just <laughs> and then that way everybody wins. Um, yeah, I mean you get to splatter yourself, you get your big display, but like nobody really gets it. <laughs> you know, it'd be great. It would be fantastic. <laughs> so you're that's, looking. That's you're, the only path I'd take. Are you I, wait? Are you talking L I double R or so or, or subway? Yeah, L I double R. Yeah, see that's some that's some Kirkman engine. <laughs> <laughs> Like subway is one thing. Dude. You like you're down you, there. You whispered that like we are not gonna put it in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> like I haven't done this like four or five times before. <laughs> but you know, like actually, you know what's crazy about the Long Island Railroad is there's always so much goddamn train traffic. It's never really going that fast. <laughs> I feel like you're always going like 15 miles an hour on the Long Island Railroad because it's like you know there's there's traffic at Jamaica and you got to switch at this station and shit. I feel like you you know you jump in front of the Long Island Railroad, you might just get like maimed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're just like highly inconvenienced you just, you for the next six years. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just bump and you're like, oh man, <laughs> throws you off the track. Uh, but that means you know you're averaging one a month. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, I got my, my August quotas filled. <laughs> One time I was coming home. This was, I think, two years ago. I was coming home. It was like 3 a.m. and the train stops. And I'm like, I'm trying to get the fuck home. Don't yeah. tell me it happened again. So I, I walked out and I walked out of the train. They just stopped. This train's not moving. There was an 80 year old man at 3 a.m. in the morning. Just he, he was lost, like didn't know where I was, and he was just standing in the middle of the tracks. Holy and they stopped fuck. it. I mean, like this. Yeah. Really? yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's uh, that guy was he was really, he was like come on, yeah, you, you, you fucking kidding me? He's like, this fucking this much to go. He just what do I got Captain up. Sully back there yeah. as a conductor? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Yeah, man, that's He's that's like, special. He had to do like the fugue stage. Like, yeah, no, no, I yeah. definitely wasn't trying to kill myself. <laughs> right, was, was, you get home to your grandkids. I'm lost. I don't know. <laughs> 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 grandkids like grandpa's like totally with it what do you mean yeah, like, yeah. that's a crossword puzzle every week he's just mean? suicidal yeah. so. <laughs> oh that's uh mm. that's some funny stuff that's some dark dark shit yeah, Mike. yeah. uh if you like dark humor <laughs> dave dave is some weird humor dave is one of the funniest most original shows in years because it's so fucking weird and i feel like what, what i love about it is i feel like they just went to uh little dicky and they just gave him the keys and they just said, go. Just fucking do it. Like, I can't imagine 
I can't imagine that there was something that that Lil Dicky did that that FX said no to. I because mean, of what's from aired, what I've you seen, know what yeah, I mean? it's yeah. like like if if that if that was the second weirdest thing he came <laughs> up with, like what's the fucking weirdest? I mean, I'm, I I'm so was, embarrassed. It took me so long to get on this show. Oh, it's so like good. I mean, it was like I finally I just just recently just, started uh, watching. season one. Season, season, season two is out now, but you you just started season one. I started I think episode four of season two. I started the full thing. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean that the se- season two is great, but season one was fucking like took my breath away. <laughs> I mean the the scene in the garage with the milking table, <laughs> eating her ass and get him getting milked. That yeah. being on regular cable, like not premium, is fucking nuts, yeah. man. <laughs> FX just went for it. Little thing, he's fucking that doll, <laughs> yeah. and he's getting milked, just, just and like, I mean, and, and like, and you know, it's funny because I know the uh, the girl who plays Allie has been on Chicks, mm-hmm. and she was talking about like she shot the pilot, and the pilot's like relatively tame, and then they picked it up, and they're like, "Congrats, like we've been picked up. Here's your script." And then she was like. Oh wait a second, because that girl is like a nice sweetheart who's just I mean, talking about milking and ass eating and all. The, you know what I mean? Like, that's some wild shit to just be like. By the way, you're you're now gonna have to be the the TV girlfriend of like the weirdest fucking guy on TV. <laughs> and then season two with Benny Blanco. What what is Benny Blanco doing? I, uh, he's like a, a co star day, bro. Benny Blanco is way too famous. To that's do. what I love about it. Like yeah. all these guys are just like. They're, we're famous. We've got a ton of money, and they're just doing this shit for fun. Yeah, you know that, that's the kind of shit I think I would do. I mean, what was, was it episode four or five, maybe when he like puts like gum in his own asshole? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the, the, when 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 the Chuck scenes where they just call each other Chuck and yeah. just do gay stuff to each other, yeah. absolutely <laughs> crazy, man. So I mean, if you can't tell, uh, we're very big fans of Dave, uh, and both seasons are now streaming on FX and Hulu, um, and season one is 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 uh, Lil Dicky, of course. And our guy Cheeto Santino. The first scene Cheeto's in where they're in the bathtub together and they're like popping each other's pimples. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, Santino, you are crazy. Uh, and then and then season two, once it popped, it's got, I mean, it's got uh, Benny Blanco, Doja Cat's in an episode, Lil Nas X, Kevin Hart, Kendall Jenner's all over it. Yeah. She brings like all her model friends <laughs> through. It's wild. So uh, uh, stream them both. Both seasons are absolutely incredible. It broke like all every record for viewers and streaming and all that shit it, it's like one of the most successful tv shows legit ever so dave all episodes available now streaming on fx and hulu um today we got two unbelievable interviews we got miss pat who came through and um she just like eradicates us yeah. just just nuclear bomb just, just, we look like we suck dildos yeah <laughs> bro I, without spoiling it i said to her like what do you think when you walk in you see like because because so miss pat as i was told came like yesterday she did joe rogan and whitney cummings and then flew here to do like the late night shows and our show and i think she's got some other press in between i'm not saying that's all she did but some of the other names we were that were being thrown around in there were like major names in the game. So I was like very flattered. I was very honored that like Miss Pat keeps us in there because the times that she came through, like I think she just has fun with these wild, weird white boys. <laughs> so I said to her, what do you think when you just look at like two corny white guys like us? And she was like, I don't think anything. Two minutes later, she's like, you guys look like you stick dildos on tables and lick them. Like, That's what you think. Yeah. There's your, and you know what? That makes sense. That That is what you would think about us. Yeah. Like she probably walked around, like they probably walked out being like, yeah, them white boys, they look they look dildos, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> just a just a black and white cookie moment, you know? Racial <laughs> harmony here on KFC Radio with Miss Pat. And then just the one of the biggest freak shows on the planet Earth, Annie Letterman. Yep. Annie Letterman is is a she escaped from the circus. <laughs> she is on the run from Barnum and Bailey. She is a a <laughs> carny freak and she's here and uh is just two just fucking great interviews. So don't miss either of them. I know we talked last week saying sometimes we just tack on a, a, an interview. Uh, that way, if you like us, you can listen to us and then just skip the interviews. These are not skipped type interviews. No. Make sure you watch these. They're very Definitely. good. Definitely. Definitely listen to them. Um, I got a question for you. Okay. This was posed to me earlier right outside the door of the studio. And I would say <laughs> that I delivered the incorrect answer. Okay. I would say that I have several coworkers who are now pretty horrified with me. What happened? Um, they asked me, "Would you?" 
Okay, now I'm going to ask you. Uh, would you go to a Louis C.K. show? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't say that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Why? The girls out there were like... I mean, I oh, bought his stand-up okay. at the beginning of the pandemic. So did I didn't say that. <laughs> so, so I said it. It was so really funny. I said fun. it, and then I tried to backtrack a little bit. Because I actually did think, like, I would. What I would, if you told me that, like, I would, if I was going to a Louis C.K. show, and let's say there was, like, a uh, fucking KO Barstool type of protest outside uh -huh. and like they were gonna be like look kevin clancy from barstool's there like i wouldn't you know i don't want that if there's some sort of like you know can you look, look at all the people we saw going in to see louis ck and it's gonna be like a problem i'm not doing that but like i would go to louis C. i louis mean C. we C. have a bunch of coworkers who are going friday night <laughs> <laughs> so i said it no like just like you yes and they went like oh my god and then i was like well i mean i guess if there was an issue and then she was like you would like pay money and in my head i'm like i already did yeah and i was like yeah no yeah you're right i would i said it's, i it's said stuff. something a little worse i thought they were asking if we'd have them on, on the show uh, and i was like oh yeah definitely a definite <laughs> yes yeah that's a bigger yes and they were like what and i'm like well yeah we, uh, we go hard on them <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> i mean i i uh, i then was like i was like well here's the thing i watched his last special and it is so fucking funny and they were like how many more pearls can I clutch? You know, like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's just undeniably funny. Like, you know, even if you went into it wanting to not like it, you walk away saying that's fucking funny. And they were just like, okay. And like one of them had, had DM their uh, message, their boyfriend being like, would you go see Louis CK? And he immediately was like, yes. And, and then like, and then she was kind of like questioning it. And he was, and he wrote back like, Wait, why? Because he's been canceled? She was like, yes, that's yeah, why yeah. he's been canceled. <laughs> but I, um, that was the wrong answer for the crowd out there. No, I mean, they, we have, I was invited to go with these coworkers. I'm not going to expose them, but it's a bunch of nice people. <laughs> yeah, 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 the nicest ones. The, the, the uh, uh, I mean, I, I feel like, um, I feel like most people would too, though. I don't know. I, I think they would. Yeah. Like, I mean, if, like if you polled everybody here, what do you think it is? I would say 70, 70 30. Yeah, yeah, 70, 30, yes. Well, I, 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 it, it might be higher than that. It's probably 90, 10. Uh, but then also, then to these girls' credit, clearly, you know, probably not going to like me much. <laughs> we're not exactly the, the similar types, I guess. But we were like, I mean, do you not listen to Michael Jackson music? And she was like, no, I don't anymore. And I was like, oh, okay. Then you're just fucking down for the cause. <laughs> you are just committed to this shit. I was like, you're telling me when ignition hits that you're not like, doot, doot, beep, beep. And she was like, no, not anymore. And I said, good for you. Yeah. Then I rest my case. You are a genuinely good person. And I apparently am not. But yeah, like we thought we had a couple gotcha moments there and we did not. <laughs> and that was the second uh, little like. Uh, you know, you, we, we do all this kind of work over there. Right. We do all these powwows where the bloggers sit. Over here is more business okay. people and some editors. That's the second little, like, uh, powwow I had recently. The other one involved quigs. Okay. Quigs. <laughs> and you might – do you know what is – you know this? Okay. Quigs wants to jump off the Empire State Building, okay? And so Quigs thinks he – and, you know, now remember, Quiggs came from NASA, mm. so he knows his numbers. So I was, like, questioning my ability to question him. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I really think you're wrong. He's going to run at 12 miles per hour, is okay. what we're assuming, which uh, is about a six-second 40-yard dash. So it's, like, relatively possible for Quiggs. He said he's going to jump off the Empire State Building. And I don't know how or why this started, but... It was funny that I got roped into it because my dad used to work at the Empire State Building, so he taught he told me a lot of this shit. There's only one person who's ever reached the street when you jump off the Empire State Building, and it was because there was like this gust of wind that like picked him up and carried him. Everyone else, you just land on one of the like out like yeah, the landings because yeah, yeah. it's it's jagged. He said he's gonna land. He's gonna make it to the street. He's gonna land 154 feet from where he jumps. And I know you're not a math guy, and so I can see your brain's already in a pretzel. <laughs> but, like, think about Quiggs just jumping off of something. He's going to sink like a fucking rock, you know? <laughs> He's not going to go. No, I disagree. I'm with Quiggs. I think if he if he runs, I think he ends up. Cause we, we've actually, this is a debate I've had before. 
Um, and it was, <laughs> it was, could you cross the street? Yeah, I don't think you could. I think you can't. Because I think I think I you get across I, the street. I don't think you can. Is he? Can you just poke your head out there and see if he's there? Because I feel like there's something in physics where it's like, you're, like, think about it. If if if, if you're not going to continue going for much longer, you're just going to sink like a fucking rock. I disagree. I'm, we're, we're talking, I'm with Quiggs. We're talking. Yeah, we're talking Empire State Building again. First of all, why why was this a thing? Why why did this even come up? Uh, somebody killed themselves on the vessel. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love that we just that, have a suicide sparked, building. Uh, oh, the, the, <laughs> that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's called the vessel? Yeah, I mean, everybody just goes there to kill yeah, themselves. They yeah. have to close that thing down because <laughs> yeah. like, the people just won't stop killing That was themselves. one of KB's best where you put up the picture and said, like, I'm next. Yeah. And it was like because he was waiting in line. But yeah. um, I, I I just don't think it's it's right. And I don't know how to, how to like, ex like prove it to you. But I just I, I still don't understand so wait, why you think you're gonna move a hundred fly hundred and fifty four feet. Physics. I I, I, I mean <laughs> I know you say that, but I just know there's something but wait, where so like you're what, not what is what are you saying my argument is? You said personally. that you would land hundred and fifty four feet out. Like that you're gonna well, land, like you're gonna clear all yes. this building and that you're gonna land like on the other side of the fucking like the next block basically. Yeah. So well, that's like that, so that's crazy. Like 154 that, that feet my... is like going another block. So like Squigs is gonna like jump, like across to the other buildings, like fucking Spider Man. I think he would. Yes. Why would you think that? So the, <laughs> somebody said that I couldn't hit the ground. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna and reach the ground. So because like nobody in the history of jumping off the Empire State Building has. But I'm assuming that I'm running, running off right. at and, 12 and, miles and, per and hour. And that does – that for sure makes a difference, <laughs> But and I'm sure most people do just kind of plummet. Yeah. But I – and so maybe, you know, you'll get further, and maybe you can't even make it to the street. But this 154 feet thing, I, I just don't – I don't – I mean, I don't know enough uh, how to, like, prove it's wrong, but I you just running right. and jumping, yeah. like, you're, you're not going to go you – you're do. not going to cross the street. That's – so, the way, like, physics work is <laughs> basically gravity will be the only thing taking me down. Yeah. That's the right. reason I fall. Is, right. And that's a constant. So, I'm going to be falling down at the same rate, 9.81 meters per right, second. Right, right, right. But are so you going to maintain down. this 12 miles an hour? Yes. Really? I mean, you, don't, you don't, like, there, lose there, any it, momentum or, or like inertia or whatever? It's, negligible. So, it's like... That's that's what that's where what I would argue is that you're gonna lose the momentum. So yeah, there there's like, like air resistance, but yeah. it would be so negligible that like my number of 154, like not accounting for air resistance, might be like 140. I, I, yeah, I mean, I and then there's also like the gusts of wind and like yeah. all that kind of shit, which like so maybe that's basic. what, but uh, that could even like. I, I just don't think – yeah, I think the one guy like, who did reach the street, was there was like a, a – yeah. it was like 80 mile an yeah, hour wind or something like crazy like that. Account for it. Um, I just – yeah, I mean my, my final answer is I just don't think that Quiggs is like Spider-Man and can jump from building to building. <laughs> I I think he is. I, I think right. – There's I, only I, one way to find out. Yeah, so yeah. get your ass up there. <laughs> we have like no backing on that. No, You're I know. Like, but I Well, I, I mean mine feels like it's just like common sense to me. Whereas I know you're saying, like, no, it's not. The common sense would just be, like, these numbers. I just don't think that you can jump that far. It's – but it's the fact that, like, I am going down, like, I think – do you know the height? Like, 1,300 feet? I am moving 12 miles per hour for the, like – Forever? In, the, in perpetuity? In the, like, yes. I would think you're even increasing speed. No. You don't increase speed. <laughs> but, no. When you're falling, how are you not increasing no, no. So speed? You are increasing speed in the down. You're in the Y direction. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then in the X, you would assume that you're not increasing or decreasing because there's There's no. just got to be some variable we're missing that says that Quigs can't jump from fucking block to block. <laughs> That's just my final answer, and I don't care. So get up there and fucking jump, Quigs. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, the, the other problem is you, I don't know. You can't really run and jump, I don't think. I don't know I if mean, there's like a place this to do is, it. This is like assuming, assuming that I, you can, could. I yeah, can run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just right. fine. Yeah. That was just the other Not argument the I had. Style. The other <laughs> argument that was out there was uh, would you go see Louis C.K. in person? I don't. I wouldn't go see any comedian in person. I'm not really a comic not a comic guy. guy. But 
Like, yeah. yeah right. Who doesn't like comedy? That's weird. <laughs> like, I just don't like to like, I just don't like to laugh. <laughs> yeah, like fun, funny things? Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't know. Let me get back to my job at Barstool yeah. Sports now. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm like a podcast <laughs> over comedy. I think right. it's like oh, more okay. like... My man. We'll shows, take that. Shows then. who's funny. <laughs> All right, we'll go jump off a building. And <laughs> let us know. Uh, we'll get into some Am I the Assholes and then our interviews, our voicemails and then our interviews. But first, uh, I this believe... This is going to be a fun one. Huh? This is going to be a fun one. I believe we have a a KFC Radio triathlon in the works, um, which from the younger bucks, from the young... I'm, I'm out of that game. I'm out of like... Oh, were you ever in it, Kevin? I mean, I was, I was forced <laughs> to. Yeah, I was forced to do all sorts of dumb... Dog and pony show bullshit for this company. <laughs> and now, I, you know, you're playing hockey and shit, and people are golfing. I'm like, I'm done with all this. We were laying on the fucking floor of the studio <laughs> today just because podcasting is too taxing for us. You know what we need to get is that Helix bed. We need to have a Helix. Yeah. We need to have a, a communal studio bed where when, you know, this podcasting game gets to be too much, you just hop on there and take a little nap. <laughs> you, you think, like, how embarrassing that is that we took a, like... I mean, I, I, I we would have got too, to sleep. We were tired of just from talking. Too much. <laughs> too much talking, bro. Internet coal miners, man. It takes its toll. We're going to Helix bed in here, have our communal mattress. Uh, if you're a normal person, you just want to get your uh, mattress, a new mattress in your apartment or your home, Helix is the way to go. You head over to Helix.com and you, uh, HelixSleep.com, and you take the quiz. And this quiz is like how big you are, how old you are, what your preferences are, uh, all that kind of shit. And uh, it turns, it, it delivers like which type of mattress you should buy. So they have a, a whole different array of types made of different things, different firmness, uh, softness, different sizes. Uh, it de determines if you're a plus size person. They have plus size mattresses so that you get a customized mattress for you that makes sure that you personally, individually get a better sleep. This isn't just like, hey, one mattress fits all. This is like we find the one for you that makes sure you are uh, more comfortable ever than ever before it's the perfect way to sleep for you go to helixsleep.com slash kfc and you'll get 200 dollars off all your mattress orders plus two free pillows you'll get the mattress that fits you whether you're a side sleeper or a back sleeper whether you move around whether you're on your stomach whether you're big small whether you crawl around light sleeper heavy sleeper all of that you'll get a, a brand new mattress 200 bucks off and two free pillows when you go to helixsleep.com slash kfc so Jackie, who went from intern to uh, senior producer in her <laughs> eyes real quick, um, is is now challenging or Mike uh, who who challenged who here because we also have intern Mike who is uh, apparently like the bringer of death. He has like the the subway touch of death. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, there's people jumping in front of trains. Uh, apparently, there's a challenge out that you guys are going to do some sort of triathlon. I think it was it was me that brought it up. Because okay. I was tired of Jackie saying that she could like beat me at things. And, <laughs> like uh, what? Oh, oh, because he's as, just as like, she rips the mic <laughs> away from him. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's just like blatantly the better intern of us two. Like he just like knows how to do shit. <laughs> so then, like, whenever I have something above him, I'm like, you gotta hold it over. You see that? Yeah. You know, like, I have yeah, to yeah, hold yeah. it over him. So right. Um, it's clear that I'm a better Googler. I'll take that. So that's going to be one part of the triathlon. That's Literally, oh. like, Keegan and Shay are better Googlers. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't take any pride in that. But that yeah, was just, man. like, one thing. He he, Googled, he had, like, one episode where he Googled. I was Googling for, like, multiple. Like, yeah, we horribly every time. Wait, when yeah, but, we but, said but, triathlon, I didn't realize Google searches were <laughs> yeah, 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 no, <laughs> we're just making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Googling? So that's something that's like a strength of mine. <laughs> you don't know that. The bar is so low. <laughs> what's, what's the second event? Um, so Jackie thinks that she's really good at rapping, and so that's her strength, so she's taking that part of the triathlon. Okay. That's what she says. So least. are you, are you going to like write a, a, a verse or something? Well, Because Jackie also thinks part. that a verse is one <laughs> rhyme. <laughs> Jackie says two words that rhyme, and she becomes a rapper. It's a, it's a quality over quantity type of thing. Uh-huh. Okay. I guess you got to get like four quality bars in, and then okay. you can move on to the next. Well, but we're, yeah. we're going to start off is what we c both can't do, which is swim. Oh yeah, <laughs> did you know this? <laughs> These motherfuckers can't Wait, swim. Neither of you know how to swim, dude. I, I know uh, that's swim. that. Bro, you're from Long Island. <laughs> I know. You're from I know. California. Yes, it's insane. No, no, but tell them why you can't swim. I was like five, and I fell into a pool and like drowned, and like they like 
do CPR, bring me back. And so like, you're like, Batman, not bring me you're back, but they had like, I wasn't breathing, so I was like deathly afraid. So you're definitely like, afraid of what? You big 13. fat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like that could have either you could have either become Aquaman, where like we could have thrown you back in the deep end, you would have overcome your fear, and then water would become your ally, or you just become a pussy who can't swim at the age of like 23. <laughs> and we know which way this went. So you and what's your excuse, either? Jackie? I just, I, at least I at least he almost died. You just can't yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just I just didn't really. Learn how to swim, and you're from California. But that no, no. Here, here's my is I, and I've said this multiple times. <laughs> I think that like, in terms of like multitasking, I, I, it's like patting your head. You know, like I just can't. Like all four limbs cannot move at the same time. <laughs> I cannot. You don't have to. Well, like, well, no, well no, all no, four no, limbs this, do not have to fucking she, move at the same time. Can, so I swim. Like she a, can doggy paddle. Can, and and yeah, so okay. I said we're gonna do this segment and we're gonna put on YouTube Jackie does doggy yeah. and we're just gonna get all the fucking views we can get for the you know You're welcome. but but yeah so she can move her arms or her legs she can't move her arms and her legs I can't do both so that's kind of why I've and by the way if you if you weren't watching on the YouTube she, as she was talking she's like it's like a, you know it's like a thing where you can't she started to try to rub her head and <laughs> pat her tummy that. she couldn't she couldn't do that either but to mine some kind of like mental You're fit, an idiot. you know yeah. whatever right. But here's my strategy for the triathlon: is I drown him. <laughs> oh sure. <laughs> and just bring him back during the swimming section, yeah. and then we go straight into the rap. What was our order? It was swim, Google rap. Yeah. So. So. Oh yeah. wait, no. So I we're gonna was, risk I death was, first. I thought it was swim. Okay, assuming that maybe like rap is after. He obviously is like still shook this from is drowning. One of the dumbest things <laughs> we have ever done here, and I can't get enough of it. When I heard that they couldn't swim the other day, John, I I, I can't understand adults who can't swim. Adults who can't swim and adults who can't ride bikes. Like, what's wrong yeah. with you? How did this just never just, happen to you? Just float. Like, it's it's so easy. No, like, I like that's float. what I don't get. Like, so like I put you in there, and I can you just float. Like, you just I'll go back in the water. Yeah. Around, like, 12 or 13, I started getting back in the water. Like, oh, you tough. So <laughs> oh, I got in that water. Yeah, you said you said you get in a pool, but like the ocean, you're like no, the ocean, man. not going. Oh, and you know what he yeah. said? He goes like this. He's like, I can't like get in the water, but like if I'm in the ocean, I'm doing this. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. So, uh, are we gonna do ocean or pool? The ocean's fucked up. You can't, do that. <laughs> you can't take a guy who can't swim and throw him in the ocean. The ocean is like the most powerful force on the planet Earth. So I will give you that. So then what is the, is it like laps? Like who can swim a faster lap or just, or like you both go at the same time down and back? Yeah, like two, like down and back. Same time or like time wise? Like if you go at the same time, it's just whoever reaches the wall? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, so that is gonna, and we're doing like Olympic pool? Yeah, like a full mm, size. I mean, no. I don't know if I'll make <laughs> it to the full size. I've, we should keep it short. Do, it, do that half length Olympic. So it's essentially one Olympic length is a that would be. I want a down and back from a, in a smaller pool. Yes. I think we need a turn involved. That, that, that would be a, that's a fifty yard dash. Right. Yes. How right. far is an Olympic pool? An Olympic one's really long, oh, right? Olympic pools are. I'm trying to cut cameras. I'll talk. This is getting <laughs> real fucked up. Um, it's fifty each way. So like down and back is a hundred versus like that's normally four and like a right, pool right, in right. Your high school. I think I I think I can get you guys. I think the pool that I go to is big enough and small enough at the same time for you guys to do it down and back. Um, I, this is what I was saying was like in PE. I, I These motherfuckers call it PE. I know. I, I was gym. Too. It's called gym class. Yeah. yeah it's gym class, gym. bro. Uh, I mean, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's physical <laughs> education. Right? Oh I actually think they just straight up switch that overall. I'm sure it is I'm actually true. Sure. never said PE. Yeah. Like, no. the, like the, 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 the teacher said PE because they need to like make themselves not sound like a failure of life. <laughs> like I'm a PE teacher. It's like you're a gym teacher, bro. No shade. I didn't gym even teachers. have gym. What'd you have? Didn't have it. You just didn't have a physical class? No. Nope. I mean, in high school we didn't. I mean, in growing up I did, but high school we didn't. That makes more sense. I always thought it was kind of weird. It's like, what are we doing here? <laughs> you're playing dodgeball. It's like, this is awesome. But like, why are we? How about we just cut an hour off of school and I can go home, you know, and do my friends. <laughs> But mm. also, you keep bringing up PE as why you don't swim. It's like nobody swims at gym class. Mm. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Very few no, people do. Very few, like, like grade schools have access to a pool for their kids. Well, mine did. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so why don't you swim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've... She told me her gym teacher was like, 
yeah, you just, oh, yeah, yeah. You just sit this oh, yeah, out. yeah. So really? that was the thing. It's like, that's <laughs> when I kind of, like, we. I tried doing one lap, and they told me to sit out, like, of the whole unit. <laughs> that's why I so can't believe. So that's why I think that we should only do one, one lap, lap, because I know for a fact that I can't do <laughs> this is why I think the rules should cater to me because yeah. otherwise I will lose. That's why I can't believe there are any gym classes that swim just because it's just a monster liability. Yeah, right? right? Like, oh, this fuck. I didn't know this kid was a spaz who was going to drown, sir. <laughs> like, sorry, Your Honor. I thought people knew how to fucking swim. To, you know? to get out of gym, I would be a lifeguard during gym class, and that was, that was fucking so annoying. Right. Like, they would put kayaks in the pool and, like, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. we had a gym, like a fucking hardwood gym. That was yeah. it. We played like basketball. That was that. Was <laughs> yeah. It. yeah. No. Pool. People would like flip over and then not flip back. Yeah. For a while. That's you'd be wildly like, Am dangerous. Am I going? Am I going? Yeah. They were trying to teach them how to flip themselves. No, they, they were don't very do bad that. at it. Uh, there was when I was in like middle of high school, they came up with um, something called like alternative or some shit, and it was basically for like. It was for the fats. <laughs> it was for the people who couldn't play like real sports, and they would do like yoga, and they would walk laps, and they would do stretching and like meditation, what? while like the regular kids were just like blasting each other with balls and like playing steal the bacon and shit. It's called alternative, something like that. It had like a name, but we basically called the yoga gym. Like, <laughs> and it was kind of like, do you do like yoga gym? It was almost like um, special ed for gym. <laughs> it was a bad look. If you did special ed gym, you were a loser. <laughs> Okay, well, let's do this. When are we doing it? Soon? Yeah. All right, Whatever. we'll get this set up. The <laughs> well, I mean, this what is a special ed occasion. Yeah. Like, this, talk about special <laughs> ed. This wait, is, wait, this wait. Is subscriber goal. Let's okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 80,000 subscribers. Should we get, like, to train? Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll have time between now and what when is we the get 80,000 like, subscribers. What is the winner or what does the loser get? That's probably what it should be. What, what does the loser get? The punishment? Yeah, okay, because the, the winner gets, like, you know, Basic bragging rights of like I'm a functioning human. <laughs> uh, the loser, the loser. We'll come up with that. We'll do. We'll do eighty thousand subscribers to get this off the ground. To do this, and then comment on this episode below on the YouTube what you think the punishment should be for the loser and or the reward for the winner. <laughs> so We're KFC Radio Triathlon. Let's go. If we hit eighty like tomorrow because of this, I'm gonna fucking lose it yeah well i i, I hope we i love do it because i want yeah. this i want this shit to go down fast so kfc radio triathlon let's do it go to uh kfc radio on youtube subscribe and leave a comment on uh, what you think should happen uh, I just think, I'm, like, I'm not actually gonna like rap battle him yeah yeah uh, I never talked to a game about rap battle. Like I obviously can't. <laughs> <laughs> I also I also have like a sneaky mm. feeling like can you rap? No, no. he. No, not like rap, no, but like I don't know. I mean, you look like, like you like listen to rap music. Yeah, and you probably can like, like rap along bars, with the lyrics. Yeah, if like and a yeah, slow like he's gonna thing. come up with like two rhymes <laughs> and beat your one. <laughs> you know, I know Jackie's yeah. sitting there going like, "What rhymes with triathlon?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, am I the asshole? Uh, this should have just been one gigantic am I the asshole <laughs> segment. Uh, am I the asshole today? Is brought to you by Roman. Uh, Miss Pat was on. She's on the show later, and I brought up the Roman swipes. I just had a feeling that that would be something that would interest Miss Pat. That you know, there's something out there that can make your dick last longer in bed, and um, she ended up walking out of here with a whole stack. <laughs> Of Roman swipes for her. And I don't her know about her. Her, it was, uh, yeah. her hairdresser. Yeah, she was giving it to her, her daughters, her friends, her hairdressers, everybody. Who oh, is it, is it? No, that that was that was that was her because her daughter, one of her daughters, is gay. I know that because last time she came through, oh, she was yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. she was trying to get her to turn straight for Francis. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was you know her her crew that came through. They walked out with a big stack of them because they were like, oh, I'll take that. She goes to me, how how much longer does it make you last in bed? And I was like, about fifty percent more. <laughs> And she was like, so what's that, like two or three minutes? I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's what Roman does. They help, they help fight any and all of the erectile problems. That can be the dysfunction, meaning you can't get it up. It can mean premature ejaculation. Uh, and that's why Roman, they, they call it being Roman ready. So uh, think about, you know, Think about the Roman Empire, John, with that strong Roman nose of yours. <laughs> Think about when they were ready to, like, invade some other fucking barbarian tribe and take it over and expand the empire. They were fucking Roman, Roman ready. ready. And that's what you're going to be with your dick when you get in the bedroom. You're going to be Roman ready to let that thing fucking fly and know that it's going to last the whole length of battle. Uh, and if you do need a doctor, they can set you up. You get on get on the internet or call up Roman. They uh, match you with a U.S. licensed healthcare professional. They work with you to find the best prescription and the best uh, 
uh, treatment for you. Uh, and then so you can get the prescription medication for the pills. Then you can get the swipes, the medicated swipes that numb you up and help you last longer. They've also got uh, hair pills. They've got skin regimen pills. They've got everything for men's health in general. And when you go to GetRoman.com slash Barstool, you can get 50% off your first month of ED treatment. That's GetRoman.com slash Barstool. I do this. I'm a member of it. I get random shit from them all the time. Like sometimes I need this for my dick. Sometimes I need that for my hair. Sometimes I need this for my skin. Uh, so it's it's just good to have a membership there and get what you need. Go to GetRoman.com slash Barstool for 50% off. All right, let's get into it. Am I the asshole? First one here. Am I the asshole for being uncomfortable with my girlfriend being naked around her dog? 33 male, my girlfriend, 30, hates clothes to the point where she actively researched nudist colonies. And if I wasn't having to occasionally go into the office, she would have moved there. Sorry, wait, hang on. To the point where she has actively researched nudist colonies. And if it wasn't for having to occasionally go into the office, she would have moved there long before she met me. So she's always naked around the house, which for me, it's hella nice. She's got a rockin' bod. The issue is her two-year-old dog. The dog is a super cute and fluffy great a uh, fluffy great Pyrenees, very well trained, 10 out of 10, a good girl. My girlfriend was there uh, when she, my girlfriend was there when her friend brought the heavily pregnant mom home from the pound. Um, she was there at the birth, immediately fell in love. She sees that dog as the closest thing she'll ever have to a kid due to medical issues. However, my girlfriend is just always naked at home. Playing with the dog, naked. Cuddling on the couch, naked. She keeps a slip dress by the door for walks, but otherwise naked. And it's weird, right? I tried to be subtle, but finally the other day I sat down with her and pointed out that, yes, she's trained the dog to not sniff human butts, but it's still like something out of an illegal adult movie for her to be naked with an animal all the time. She got pissed and asked me to leave. I tried to talk some sense into her, but she wasn't listening to it. I finally left her house, and once I got back to her apartment, I tried texting one of her friends, but she blew up at me saying I was an ass. My girlfriend is now radio silence. Am I the asshole here? Uh, edit. Wow, I had step away to make dinner. This really blew up. To answer some few, to, to answer some questions, no, I'm not a troll, and no, I'm not jealous of a literal female dog. I know my girlfriend isn't doing anything, but it's still weird. I mean, I don't. There's, there's literally nothing weird about this. I, this I, guy has. It would be weird if he was a guy. <laughs> So girls can be naked with their dogs. Guys can't be naked yeah, with their dogs. Yeah, because like you got like your dicks there, and well, like their pussies there. Yeah, but the, a pussy's nothing. The like a, a pussy is a, an absence of a dick. Yeah, like it, it's just like there's no protrusion. No, yeah. It's it's if there was a dick flopping around in the dog's face, he'd probably he'd probably be liable to bite it. But there's a, a pussy's just a hole. If if it was, if this was a guy, this is bizarre. But because it's a woman, it's not. I at all. think that's fucking sexist, and I think you could. <laughs> you can play with your dog naked if you're a guy or a girl. I, I don't think you can. I think it's a lot weirder. I'll, I'll for tell you what. Men, do not play with your dog naked. Women, <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> I'll tell you what, dude. We are three interviews and three ATIs deep. I did a one minute man earlier, and now that I'm like loopy, and this is... <laughs> it's just so ridiculous to me. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a fever dream. Like you're like your dicks flopping around. You cannot play, with bro. Your if dog. you if you got your if you got a fucking dog, keep your dick away from him. <laughs> but pussy's bro, good to go, bro. If there's a fucking dick in the room, the dog shouldn't be in the room. Because you think the dog wants to bite it? I think I think he's probably gonna bite but, it. But yeah. but you've had sex with a dog in a room. I have, yeah. You licked your ass, right? You licked my ass, yeah. And that was a problem. Yeah. Didn't lick her ass, licked <laughs> your ass, licked right? my ass, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're onto something here, John. Oh, oh, um, I I see what you're saying. Okay, I'm with you on that. But this guy, I mean, thinking that, I mean, it's just it's just 100. I'm so right on this. Like, it's 100 percent factual. That dog will probably try and bite that dick. But if he doesn't, then who cares? What if, I don't know, what if you trained, what, all, what if you tried to bite your dick and you bro, trained I, him not to? Bro, I don't think guys should be naked, period. Yeah, guys should always have clothes on unless they're having sex with girls. Even, or, or guys. They shouldn't even have sex. No. <laughs> guys, they, guys like, like should they shouldn't be, have sex or they shouldn't get naked? They shouldn't like, get they naked. They should stick their dicks they out. just pull it out. Mm -hmm. There's, there's, there's nothing to see. Like when, know. when Nacho wears those underwear that like where he just pokes his dick out. <laughs> yeah. like, we should all have those, like underwear with the dick hole in them. Well, I mean, we all do. No, but like his his are like I think it's like a hole cut out for his dick. <laughs> I don't think he like snakes it through to pee. That's like his sex hole. Oh, I know. I think it's a snake job. 
Well, I, I'm talking about something specifically where I've seen like a whole cutout. Okay, I haven't seen this one. So, plus I'm not thinking of Nacho. I'm thinking of Mike Adriano. Mike Adriano <laughs> yeah. I feel like Mike Adriano kind of like became the new Nacho. No. Like not. I, I feel like Nacho had like the the dick that everybody knew in porn, and then like and then like Mike had it. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like passing the torch, kinda, <laughs> you know. It's like LeBron and MJ sort of thing. It's like <laughs> anyway, this guy like. This is one of those things where you think everyone's going to have your back. Like, yo, my fucking crazy girlfriend is naked around the dog. That's gross, right? It's like you're clearly having some weird thoughts about this dog sexually yeah. with your girl. <laughs> and the issues are with you. And that's like when everybody had uh, the, the, the How Howitzer Gate shit. And it was like you guys are the ones sexualizing this. Right. You guys see these kids and you're turning it into sex. You guys see this dog and a naked person and you think something's weird. Yeah, like you're, you're the fucking weird You're one. into bestiality. Yeah. Seems. that You have some issues with that, dude. So, uh, yeah, no. I, I think you're cool. I, I I think you can also be a guy, but John No. John no. says no. No. Men keep your fucking pants on when the dog's in the room. <laughs> Am I the asshole for cleaning out the fridge without telling my husband? My DH brought home a metal box? What's a DH? Domestic husband or something? I don't know. My DH brought home a metal box that he checks on often. During the day when it's in the fridge, dear husband. Dear husband, yeah. Uh, my dear husband, like a, that's like a cutesy name, like my yeah. dear husband. Yeah, it's a big Reddit thing. Do you say gay? Yeah, it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the mics picked that up. <laughs> gay. That is that super sack. gay. <laughs> that is super fucking gay. <laughs> what does this mean? He, ch he brought home a metal box that he checks. Often, when I asked it about it, he said it contained freshly picked olives his friend Jason got from his uncle's farm and wanted to keep dear husband and, and wanted dear husband to keep it till he got back from his business trip. What the fuck? What? I had no problem with it. Uh, I had no problem with him keeping it safe at the bottom of the fridge. Uh, I needed something else than dear husband. What are we going to fucking call this guy? <laughs> Pick a name, Jackie. Right. Rick. Rick always asked me to be cautious with the box and not open it as it would be rude to touch other people's stuff. Yesterday, I decided to clean out the fridge, which took me about two hours from unplugging the fridge, emptying all the items, groceries, vegetables, and containers, and washing and cleaning the inside of it, then letting it settle before plugging it in again. I took the box my husband brought out of the fridge, then placed it on the kitchen island along with the other containers. While I was working, I received a video call via WhatsApp from my husband while I was being while I was bored. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I showed him I was cleaning out the fridge, and he suddenly freaked out and asked about the metal box. I was confused, so I told him to calm down and showed him where the box was. He got mad at me, saying I shouldn't have cleaned out the fridge nor even touched the box without telling him. I again tried to ask him him what uh what i asked him to calm down so I, no big deal his precious box was safe and sound but he went on a rant about how the box needed to be put back in the fridge asap and told me to plug in the fridge right then but i couldn't because it was wet and i still hadn't finished cleaning the other parts apparently i pissed him off by stalling and he hung up 30 minutes later he came home and pitched a hissy fit saying i should have picked a time when he was home to clean out the fridge so he could take the box somewhere else to keep it cool I said that it was sitting out there for barely two hours and olives can stand being outside for a longer period. He said, I don't get it, uh, and took the box, wanted to leave. I asked where he was taking it. He said he had no time to explain. I shrugged this whole thing off. Um, I argued what opinions could he have. Da, 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 da. I mean, this is, this is bananas all over the place. First of all, doesn't take two hours to clean the fridge, does it? <laughs> I've, I've never cleaned a fridge. I've never and cleaned I never a fridge will. my whole life. And, and, I, and, I, and I, I will I, die. You can put that on never my tombstone. Do never clean the fridge. And I have noticed, by the way, when my cleaning lady comes, she does clean the fridge, and it's delightful. <laughs> I, 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 you don't think like your fridge gets dirty, but it does. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, for sure. And I can notice a before and after, big time. So, thank you for that. <laughs> But also, if I find out that she's spending two hours doing that, <laughs> I'm either gonna t I gotta leave her a bigger tip, or I gotta tell her like, "Yo, dude, just do it like in less time. Right. Just like speed up the process. <laughs> you don't have to be that thorough." Just do <laughs> Secondly, no, that might be that might be like fourthly. Firstly, who asks you to babysit their olives? <laughs> Secondly, who babysits these olives like they are the fucking holy grail? It's. It's him and Jason are fucking. Definitely. Yes. But what's in the box? Because what's in the box? Is it actually olives in the box? What's in the box? I what's would, in the box? I would guess, huh. 
Because, like, yes, he's for sure fucking. And that was, like, a like, special wait, is this, thing. Is this he, box locked, you think? I it's the it's a metal box. It's a metal olive box. This Jason's comes in there. <laughs> Do you think he has his cum in there? Yes. Yeah, and, and that's why he's freaking out because it's like that's it's when like it's losing its cumness. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's just yeah. The cum is losing all of his cum. <laughs> the, the cum is just it's cum. I, that is that is one hundred percent a sperm box. Second of all, I have not seen the olives for myself. Yep. I haven't opened the box. Cum box, that's why. It's a, it's a cum locker. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cum locker. It's a cum locker. <laughs> that, Ooh. that. What? Dead body parts? Uh, Severed dick? No. Fingers? I think it's cum. <laughs> I think it's. Johnson, I've already given my answer. I think. It's I think it's come. I mean, it could be sure, but like. I'm thinking it's evidence in some way. Come, but, but why would you DNA? Keep it? Why wouldn't you get rid of it? Maybe he needs it to prove his case. Maybe. Uh, what What's something you would ask? With, uh, a, a bomb. Got to keep the bomb cold. Uh, drugs. <laughs> Do you have to keep drugs refrigerated? Uh, not like the ones meth, I do. Meth. <laughs> <laughs> not my drugs. <laughs> Actually, mushrooms I do keep in the fridge. Maybe it's a big, ba a big box of mushrooms. But they can get but cold. Mushrooms don't go I mean, bad, they can get warm. You know. Yeah. Um. I mean, they okay. So they, <laughs> there are you know these people who put uh, Reddit polls in the comments. You know, is it A drugs, B body parts, C olives? <laughs> Seventy-one percent says drugs. 23% says body parts, 6% what, says olives. What drugs? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. There, uh, I mean, like, I, I just have never heard of keeping drugs cold. I think we used to keep dabs cold, but that was, like, just so you could vaporize them quicker. But, like, I, 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 I don't even know what a dab is. Um, it was, it, it's, ha it's hash oil. Like you, it's what? It's the oil that, like, you vaporize it quick. You have to have blowtorch. It's, like, super wheat. I don't know. Bro. Oh, Okay. Back I to thought, the olives. I thought it was acid. <laughs> Back to the olives. Oh, I've kept the non-olives. Yeah. Kidney for the black market. Yeah. Packed in ice. That's got to be in a freezer. But though. but yeah, like that can't be. And also, if you've got a kidney on the on ice for the black market, you don't give that to your buddy to watch for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I what's think... in the fucking box, dude? I'll tell you. You know, can I tell you what the craziest scenario of all is? Olives. Olives. <laughs> Olives. Yeah. This is the craziest story I've ever heard in my life. This is the craziest story mm. that has ever been told. If this man asked... Ask this guy that he's clearly fucking to babysit his olives, and this guy's wife left him out on the counter, and he had Are a we fucking sure? meltdown over it. Are we sure she's a woman? Uh, let me check. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Like, like I think I think it's a gay couple, and yeah. there's a gay guy. Um, my dear they husband, they never say no. I feel like this is a gay couple. And that could be. This seems super gay. <laughs> <laughs> from from the from the dear husband to the babysitting the olives. I'm trying to see if there's just to, a to the babysitting here. Jason's cum. He argued back saying he promised Jason he'd keep his olives in good condition. And that I should have just told him that. End of story. I What's mean. in the box? I would How has she I not would looked? How is so he not looked in the box? I would much rather this be dead baby organs <laughs> than olives. I cannot tell you how much it's distressing me that this might just be olives. <laughs> <laughs> I I just I mean just open the fucking box. <laughs> One of the comments said it's methadone, and look at this. It's like a little lock box filled with methadone jars, uh, and that needs to be kept maybe at a certain temperature. That looks like cum still. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's still cum. <laughs> now, do you think it's like jars of cum, bag of cum, yes. or just a box of free cum? No, 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 it's in jars. It's, it's not stray jars. cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah come yeah. on, we're not animals. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I mean, I had to scroll. Look how far down the bar is. See that? Pretty oh. pretty damn far. Until we get to Celine. Is your husband keeping his friend's semen in your fridge? <laughs> that would be a bad plan on so many levels. <laughs> so, um, 
<laughs> Honestly, this was my idea, but then someone had a smarter idea that it was methadone. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's We're calm. going with calm. It's calm. Dang. Just so the internet knows, the official KFC radio uh, stance on this Cunning. is calm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cum box. <laughs> it's Jason's cum box. <laughs> <laughs> and dear husband, he did not store that cum well enough. No. I, I mean, what else would you get mad about? Like, what else could, like... What olives! Else, what, what else can't get warm but cum? And also... Wait, what? Like, like... <laughs> like, f any food in the world. <laughs> like, what, what are you talking about? Oh, cum, like... You, wait, do you think that cum has to be... Oh, yeah, yeah, like, like, because cause at, at a certain temperature it, it dies or whatever. That's yeah, why the balls right. hang out of the side. But that would mean – I think I think cum getting too cold is a problem too, though. I don't think you could put a freezing cold load in there and it does its job. But, like, I think cum's got to be between, like, 93 and in 95. Cold, in fridges? I don't know. Probably. Well, it's stored in right. balls, but – Yeah, but, like, like if you – when you – I'm picturing – Is it in your balls? Like, at a sperm cum. bank. It comes in your balls? Yeah. <laughs> we, we do this – like once an episode, <laughs> at least once a month, we go. Wait, where's the cum? It comes in your balls, but the <laughs> semen, the semen comes out of your dick, your ball. Uh, when you're, I don't think comes in your balls. Well, your prostate does something. <laughs> we, we legitimately do this once a month. This exact thing. I think your prostate makes the the semen, and your cum and your balls makes the cum, <laughs> and then the semen's like the activator. And then they they, they, they combine forces. Yes, like Captain Planet. <laughs> uh, when I, I'm picturing a sperm bank, I'm picturing like. Refrigerators filled with like vials and trays. And right, 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 cum, right, right, right. So yeah. that maybe that's yeah. So this is just a uh, at, at home sperm bank for Jason's cum. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what, if it's olives, <laughs> if I ever find out, if I ever find out that the box was filled with olives, <laughs> I'll go kill all these people. <laughs> I will buy a gun. I will hunt down Jason, dear husband, and this wife or also other husband. <laughs> And I will massacre them. <laughs> and I will sit there. I will shoot them all and maim them. And then while they bleed out, I will eat the olives in front of their face. <laughs> and I will say, who makes such a big story out of olives? <laughs> I don't even like olives. And I'll eat them in your face while you die. <laughs> What's in the box? All right. Voicemails and then interviews. And then we'll get out of here. This is – we're putting on a fucking – this is our this is our hardest episode ever. 100%. And it's one of our best. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, big time players make big time plays when they count. So voicemails today are brought to you by Sennheiser Electronics. Right now our first 100 listeners who go to sennheiser.com/podcast and use promo code KFC will get 15% off the Momentum True Wireless 2 earbuds or any of the amazing headphones. Sennheiser makes great earbuds. Great headphones, all with high-quality sound that feel comfortable, that fit, that perform well. And right now, you can get that discount when you go to Sennheiser, S-E-N-N-H-E-I-S-E-R, Sennheiser.com slash podcast. Look at these. These are the ones. That Nick, I mean, Nick loves these. Nick does all our audio. This, so the, the, the box the, uh, the box is like jeans. Really? They feel like yeah. jeans. Oh, right? Yeah. Pop nice. those in, those those weird hobbit ears of yours, bro. What? Um, <laughs> Sennheiser.com slash podcast. And uh, they've got high quality, best earbuds money can buy, high quality sound, best fit, comfortable, perform well. With their smart control app, you can adjust the sound to your personal preference with the built-in equalizer. So you got an app and you can put the levels up and down so that the sound quality is maximized and perfect for your ear. Noise cancellation, long-lasting 28-hour battery life. So over a day long where you don't even have to charge it up, you can continue continuously listen for 28 hours uh, and for 75 years. When everyone else is focusing on tablets and phones and computers and all that shit, these guys have just done sound. I could have used those when, uh, on my flight the other day. When I just, I was, the baby was louder than my headphones. Wow. And I just, the, like, the the music and the crying was too much. So yeah. I, just, I just let the baby win. Yeah. I just like took my headphones out. I was like, all right, out. there you go. I actually oh, wore really those do. on a flight recently. And I know. Can't even like, hear you, bro. Yeah, Don't even great. know what you're saying. <laughs> Double tap the right one. Huh? Double tap the right one. And now I can hear you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's like, fucking cool. Little, <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. These are fucking amazing. <laughs> All right. So go to Sennheiser.com, uh, S-E-N-N-H-E-I-S-E-R, Heiser, Sennheiser.com slash podcast, promo code KFC. 
Get 15% off any of the uh, amazing headphones they've got. And do not settle for great sound. Come hear the difference. First 100 listeners, so go get it now. Sennheiser.com slash podcast, promo code KFC. Voicemails, let's go, Nick. KFC, fights, Jackie, Nick, etc. <laughs> got a got a question for you. What do you think is the most dangerous holiday for hooking up with a girl below your standards? I think it's got to be Halloween. Halloween party, everyone's drunk and wearing costumes. Oh, I see what you mean. So... A ten, you wake up. Is a two, you know. It's yeah. A lot of variables. You on run. Halloween. You run the risk but of thinking a girl's hot because you're partying and people are drunk and they're dressed up, and you might wake up in the morning and be like, "Oh my god, you went, you know, you looked like Harley Quinn last night, and now the makeup's off and the costumes off, and you're just gross." Yeah. Have you seen that? What, chick what on are TikTok? the other options? Like, what other holidays are there? I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say another another problem. Like it's not Christmas or Thanksgiving. No, I would say Thanksgiving. <laughs> I think Thanksgiving is a problem because uh, you get fucked up and you hook up with like someone from high school, and uh, you know you just like make a bad decision. It's like oh you, yeah, you fucked up with the uh, you know uh, what's her name Magoo, you know from it's, it, it's the it's fucking uh, like aluminum monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's a girl who was hot in high school. Yeah, and she's just not anymore. Right, and you so you like, still see her as that. And it's but like, it's like right. So what? Right, I, I, that I, that wouldn't bother me. But no. you know, I don't know. But what if? What if it's just you get drunk and you hook up with the girl? I think it's the opposite. I think it's like, yeah. I mean, she could be hot now, but people will still clown you because she's like, you know, that girl shit her pants in bio. <laughs> like, yeah, fuck, I shouldn't have banged her. Um, those would be the only two <laughs> That scenarios. seemed like a very specific story. <laughs> <laughs> Did, it, no, was nobody, it not? Nobody shit their pants in bio. Oh, okay. That <laughs> um, you fucked a girl who shit her pants in bio. I thought for sure that I would. happened. <laughs> I would. Yeah, I, would. <laughs> yeah uh, I don't care if someone shits their pants. I'll fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> what if they shit their pants that night? Well, that's a little tough. What if what if they, what if you were out at the bar, dime, everything's good. She's like, I shit my pants. I, we gotta go. And then like you go home, she cleans herself up and everything, and then she's like, I want to fuck you. Ah, nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think man, I have to fuck her with a dump in her pants. No, I'm not an animal. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, I had a story that goes with this. Fourth of July is the last one. Because everyone's in bathing suits. Pav said uh, New Year's Eve, which you could make you good, like probably the most blacked out on New Year's Eve, and like see, but Eve. that's that's some fucking young people shit. Yeah, I was like, not me, well, brother. I go to bed at ten o'clock. <laughs> I, yeah, you could, I could see a scenario where New Year's Eve, some girl wants, she wants to make sure she has a kiss, so she's like bothering you and all up on you, and you get you become her kiss, and then all of a sudden you go home with her, and it's like, oh my god. Yeah. This is a weird question. <laughs> this is strange. What holiday is the most dangerous to go home with a chick? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Like, what? <laughs> Next. What's up, KFC, Spice, everyone else? Uh, I just moved into a new neighborhood a couple weeks ago. I've been meet- meeting all sorts of neighbors and, and all that good stuff. And I had a guy come up to me last night, introducing himself. And I noticed that his uh, he put his house up on the market. So the first thing I said back to him was, ah, I see you're getting ready to sell. And he goes, yeah. Wife left me a couple weeks ago, got home from work, up and gone. Shit was packed. She wasn't there. Found out she was staked away. So, uh, you know, first time meeting this guy, kind of sitting there appalled that that was what he, he led with. Uh, other than welcome to the neighborhood, but <laughs> anyway, uh, what's the most preposterous thing that someone has divulged to you first time meeting them, uh, whether it be deeply personal or just we did this just last episode. Religion. That's Rear Admiral in the vasectomy. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only that sticks out of my brain so much because it's the only time it's really ever happened to me. This man I just met showing me pictures of his dick snip. It's incredible. <laughs> Absolutely that was, incredible. That was I don't crazy. think I have anything else that even rivals it. <laughs> By the way, how nice did that breakup sound? Well, yeah. <laughs> she was just gone. She's gone. <laughs> like I was thinking I was thinking about this the other day, because I've had so much weird shit with exes of like worrying about Go, people going public and posting things like I've never once had that like, um, like, sh- like show off that you're living your best life to like prove you know prove it to your ex. I'm always like, 
I gotta like keep this low so that yeah. the person doesn't think I'm too happy because then they'll try to ruin my life. <laughs> I've never once been like, let me win the breakup. I'm like, let me lose the breakup so that they don't fucking oh, I, I don't, ruin me. I would absolutely volunteer to lose the breakup every single time. Every time. I, right? I have I have complete interest in losing the breakup. Yes, I let me lose it. Win. Like, let me. You won. Mm -hmm. I'm miserable. You're yeah. like fine because there's just so much with that now. Like the, I saw a, a TikTok that was like, if she sent you nudes, like respect like after the breakup like respect those pictures and if she let you guys film it like protect her and i'm like yes for sure but also almost exclusively any problems i know are the other direction <laughs> where the girl is, is the one fucking with the guy right so like i i don't know i, I just i just i would kill for a breakup like that where people were just like <laughs> it's she's gone. Just gone just wake up I one was, morning yes. like just google, google hunting, hunting shit. <laughs> yes and it's like even if i was happy be like okay well at least there's no like catastrophic uh, fallout and you're just gone okay yeah. cool i just gotta like fix my broken heart that's it great yeah. <laughs> sounds awesome to me uh but yeah as far as the uh just offering up too much too much yeah vasectomy all right i it's i mean it's gotta be i mean unfortunately we have the same story because we both yeah. met all right the same night yeah 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 <laughs> oh I, you know what's a, a crazy breakup story have you seen what's going on with britney palmer and uh, britney renner Remember her? She's no. the Gianna Trump's friend. She's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she openly is like, I trap dudes. I try to fuck ball players and athletes and record, uh, rappers, and I want to get their money. And she was like 27 when PJ Washington, who plays for the Hornets, came into the league. Uh -huh. So he was like 18 or 19 when he came into the league. She was like 27. Now she's like 30 and he's 22. Uh, they had a kid. She secretly filed for divorce two weeks after the kid was born and like, bam. Gotcha, bitch. What? Owes, him, owes her $17,000 a month till he's 18. What are you talking about? Yeah. Child support, man. The, the rumor went around the internet that she owes, that he owes her $200,000 a month. And it was $200,000 total. So $17,000 a month for 18 years will get you to 200. Wait, does that make sense? No. No, no it's uh, $200,000 a year, year. For, 18, yeah, yeah, yeah. for 18 years. Um, so, but like, there's these videos of her being like, if y'all want to get a check from a man, like, just fuck a ball player. They're stupid. And then, like, um, someone, like, commented, like, you trapped him. And she, like, not not specifically, like, other times commented, like, you're going to trap these ball players, And she would comment with like, the devil emoji. And it's like, she just fucking did that. Jesus. And then, and then when. That's, when, like, when, that's fucked up. That's fuck, fucked up. I mean, that, up. so that's the internet's reaction was, like, you were, like, near, you were almost 30. And you were fucking an 18-year-old. And then, like, groomed him and, like, had a baby and then, like, took his money. And, like, if the tables were turned, it would be a whole yeah, thing. Yeah, fucked up. And, and then she went on the internet and was like, the $200,000 a year, uh, month thing is not true. I can't believe you guys think that I groomed him. Like, you guys believe too much on the internet. He had gone on Twitter and tweeted, like, so you were faking it the whole time. Just a subtweet. Uh -huh. Didn't at her. But he said that. So that's when everyone was like, oh, my God, look at like, poor PJ Washington got fucked over. Mm -hmm. But then he tweeted later, like, don't believe everything you read on the Internet, too. So, like, they kind of and they, and they put I think they both liked each other's posts. So hopefully that means on some level they're like co-parenting and like on the same page somewhat. But it does seem like there was some like grimy shit going on. And like, yeah, that's fucked that is... again with like the, the, the gender reversals. It's like if. If that happened to a chick, it'd be like, what the fuck? Just because it's a ball player who's like doing well for himself doesn't mean that it's not entirely fucked up to do to <laughs> someone. And the poor kid, too. I mean, the whole thing is jacked up. But, uh, but yeah, the internet was believing that it was $200,000 a month. And I was like, bro, PJ Washington makes $4 million a year. There's no way it's $200,000 a month. Yeah, that's, I mean, like, that's he what, couldn't that's, afford that. That's what Dr. Dre pays his wife, and he's a billionaire. <laughs> so, so, no, I don't think so. All right, one more voicemail. What do we got? What up, KFC, fights, the gang? Uh, I got a hypothetical here for you. Um, thought about this a couple times. Think it's kind of interesting. Is what would be the hardest thing? So let's say you um, get your consciousness and your memories transplanted back in time into your 16-year-old body. Uh, what would be the hardest thing about that? Um, for me, it would be having to wait a couple years for movies and TV and mm. music, things like that. But I kind of want to know your guys' no, uh, I mean technology. Uh, you, you go back to when you're 16 and have an iPhone? Oh, yeah. You're fucked. You go back to, like, regular... And, and you know it exists. Yes. Also, just, like, 
the people you are gonna fuck in the future. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just fuck me now. Yeah. I swear we're gonna. I promise like, in a few years you're gonna like, say yes. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I have not fucked that girl yet, but I can remember it. Like, yeah. that would suck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But but honestly, I was thinking, I was talking to my dad about this the other day. Like, like commuting doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, com yeah, yeah. Commuting used to be the worst thing in the world. I don't even think you kids understand, man. <laughs> like, yeah, some guy jumps in front of the train and you're annoyed that it's another half hour before you get home. But you just sit on the train on your phone. When you get home, you sit on your couch on the phone. Mm -hmm. It's just a different place for you to be on your phone, basically. <laughs> when, when, I mean, the train used to just be like, I used to buy a fucking newspaper when I was in high school. Going Did you to the city. really? I'd buy a newspaper and read like the New York Post, like the sports section. And then sometimes if I didn't have a paper, I just sat there. <laughs> just sat there. So when there was a train, train traffic or some sort of problem, it was just like, I desperately want to get home to watch my regular cable TV. <laughs> or like, yeah, I, oh fuck, I'm gonna miss the start of the game. I'm gonna, well, I guess you always miss the start of the game. But you know, if there was like a time of a show and you're late because of commuting, you're like, fuck. Yeah. None of that matters yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. How about, how about this DVRs? Yes. Dude, no, imagine. no on demand. No DVR. None of that. that if you if you just missed a show, you just missed it. That's it. You have, to, you, have to, you have to go on the TV Guide channel to find out when it comes back on. Bro, we had TiVo. Bro, you when TiVo first dropped, we had we got TiVo early. That was like the first rewind and record yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Felt like a fucking king. <laughs> I was like, I'm a wizard. I can rewind the television. I can record the television. Like, fuck yeah. I mean, that, that shit, the technology would crush you. Imagine, you have to think, when you're taking a shit, you have to read a shampoo bottle. That's all you got. That's all you got. You're just reading a bunch of words. You don't even know what they porn, mean. Porn, dude. Yeah. Porn. You got to go buy a magazine. You got to go buy a magazine. You got to. You got to. And I mean, there's the knowledge of being like, I know how much better this is going to be. Yeah. And if all right, you do probably have a computer at home. Isn't the five limit back on? Wasn't there the five limits on videos? probably yeah. back in, on, on porn? Yeah. You get like five uh -huh. free videos before yeah. like locked up for the day, or uh, uh, you know, just, just like. The, the like 56k modem yeah you can't even like listen to music <laughs> how do you listen to music back then how do we do that is that is that mp3s at that point yeah the only thing that would be good is if i got napster back <laughs> if i could go back to napster I yeah might, but even I then like all. you're trying to download fucking videos and it's just like tricks it's just not what you yep, thought you were just, downloading just all you you're like that was the original like rick roll oh you mm -hmm. spent 23 hours downloading this and it's not what you wanted <laughs> <laughs> miss pat first up here on kfc radio this interview is brought to you by SummerSlam. it's wwe's biggest event of 2021 it's headlined by megastar john cena versus the wwe universal champion roman reigns it's live from allegiant stadium in vegas on saturday august 21st barstool is all over the case. Uh, full coverage, wall-to-wall -wall interviews and access over the next two weeks. So stay tuned. We're going to have people on the podcast. We're going to have people on Friday Night Pints. We're going to get out there live in Vegas to cover the event ourselves. So if you're going to be in Vegas, you can come see us uh, and come see SummerSlam. Book your flights and buy tickets to SummerSlam over at Ticketmaster.com. And if you're going to be at home and you want to watch it on TV, SummerSlam will stream live Saturday, August 21st at 8 p.m. on Peacock. Get your SummerSlam coverage here at Barstool. Miss Pat, let's talk to her. <laughs> Good to go, Jackie. Yeah. All right, Miss Pat's here. You look beautiful, Miss Pat. Thank you. You look great. I'm, fucking, I'm still older. I think I'm two years older since the last time. What are you doing with that puss wussy on top of your lip? <laughs> pussy wussy. You don't like it? <laughs> yeah, that's what your daddy used to please your mama with. <laughs> Why are you growing that thing on your lip what like that? What do you mean? That? It's nice. You don't like it? <laughs> yeah, if you're going downstairs. <laughs> Well, that's a I click. Mean, that's a, Pat, I love going down. I can just, I'll just get out of the uh, way here. That, that's a click scratcher. <laughs> what color oh. do you think his hair is? <laughs> Where? On what? his click? No. <laughs> <laughs> what color is the hair on his head? Uh, reddish, blondish. Thank you. Blondish. No, Blondish. reddish. You said red first. It's been yeah, a big debate. Well, it's red. I, I wear weave, so we sometimes we copy that color. Yeah. <laughs> nice color. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank y'all for having me back. Oh, absolutely. Uh, last time you came here, it was it was an absolute scene. So we had to have you back. I feel like you are uh, some of the names of the other shows you've been doing are, I mean, monster names. So we're very honored to even be on the list for you to come through and do press. Oh shit! Anytime. You're talking to the top dogs these days 
<laughs> Everybody's the fucking top dog, okay? <laughs> we all in the same category. Some people's shoes just cost more. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, I really feel, though, that you were one of the people who, like, uh, other comics love, you know? And I feel like that's, like, the biggest honor in your industry is, like, if other comedians who do this shit for a living think that you're funny, that's, like, that's how you know you're really one of the funniest. Well, that is true, because that's respect, so, and I tell you, I, I don't think a lot of motherfuckers is funny. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Who do you think's funny? I mean, it's a lot of funny comics out there. I just, it's just sometimes the new comics that come come along, uh -huh. and there's no rules to this game, but if you try to give them advice, they look at you sideways and uh -huh. shit. So to me, sometimes I hate to see a comic who's, who's there for the money and not for the love of the art, mm -hmm. because I truly believe with this shit, if you just if you work at making it great, the money is gonna come. Mm -hmm. This is if you're not for you're not for real about it, you shouldn't be in it. Right. Like I love doing stand up. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if you offer me fifty dollars. You know, if I'm in the area, I will go and do a guest spot. Yeah. I'm not like that. But I, there was a time where you were doing it for money, no? No, I no, had a it was always for the game. Health care. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to get a decent little job that paid me a whatever the fuck. Right. But I fell in love with it. I, you know, so it, it's a, it's an art. So yeah, it really is. And it, it, and it's a talent. So when you when you when you when you, when you realize there's a talent and you tap into who you really are, it, it should never be about the money. When did the, you realize that about yourself? Was there like a, a certain day I was about 10, 12 years in. Real? Oh, I thought you were saying 10 or 12 years old. 10, and 10 or 12 years into the into your career is when into you knew? Into my career. And I was having kids at 10 and 12 years old. <laughs> well, 12 and 13 years old. But uh, about 10 years of my career, I started to realize I was a storyteller. Uh. And so, you know, to really, you know, what 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 it was like to write a joke the beginning the middle and the end mm -hmm. so i really started to study this shit and you got fucking stories to tell i do have like, fucking stories you know. to tell. A whole decade to realize like you're hilarious <laughs> no you know you start doing stuff that you see what other people do and then you start what i think what makes the greats unique when they tap into their self everybody don't tap into their selves mm -hmm. you know you can see one comic you have you ever seen a comic do jokes you're like i can do his fucking jokes mm -hmm. and he's a fucking uber driver don't even tell no fucking joke mm -hmm. but he can, do, he can deliver those same jokes just as good mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but what i think when it's so personal to to somebody and they're they're good with it then anybody you can't be really copied right mm -hmm. oh yeah i mean there's nobody can do like your Nobody else besides Miss Pat can do Miss Pat. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think you're I, truly I, one of a kind when yeah, it comes you, to this shit. And that's what that's what you try to set out to be right. in this shit. Yeah, because you can copy yeah. jokes, you can copy you know styles, yeah, but, but you can't. Nobody you, can take your stories. Nobody can take your personality. Yeah, I mean, just because I'm a fat black girl, I don't I don't blend in with everybody who eat Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way to put it. <laughs> I'm glad I said it and not you. <laughs> That's one of those where I'm like, okay, can I laugh at that? <laughs> yeah. okay. Am I allowed? Is that funny? Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm going to let you but You know what I love so one. much about you is like everybody is walking on eggshells these days. Every Like every day, even more so. You know, it's just getting more and more like tense and more and more awkward. Oh, you got to see my show. We're not walking on a fucking eggshell. Well, that's what I fucking like. I mean, you just come in in your act, in your show, and just like in your like personal life, your style. It's just like fuck all that say what you think tell you know say what you mean ask the question whatever you, it is who fucking cares me, who wants to come see water down comic nobody comedy yeah, don't nobody right. want to see that shit right. i mean okay i understand i'm 49 years old there's words we can't use that that describe people anymore mm -hmm. i won't use those words but you're not gonna fucking muffle me like i got off the plane today yesterday here and i pulled out my mask because i can't do the the the, the, the Paper mask, they fuck up my sinuses. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to fucking breathe because I'm fat and I'm walking up a fucking ramp. And this white dude turned around. Can I curse? I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah. you can fucking okay, okay. say whatever the fuck yeah. you want, okay, okay. Pat. So I'm, I'm walking up this ramp and this white dude turned around. Put your mask on. I said, oh. kiss my ass upside down, white boy. <laughs> <laughs> right there in front of me, I said, kiss my ass. You picked the right black bitch today, <laughs> some bitch fuck boy. I was cussing them out. 
<laughs> Who the fuck are you to tell me what I can't say? I'm free, bitch. Yo, I, you are the last person I would ever tell what to do or what to wear or what to say. Yeah, I'm like, you fucking with me. I'm trying to breathe, motherfucker. I ain't your age. I just got off this fucking hot ass plane sitting next to old crazy ass white man. The whole goddamn flight who wouldn't be still. I'm like, what the fuck did you smoke before you got on this goddamn plane? <laughs> you just moving this shit and ra- you know, I like to fly with no bra on. He kept stepping on my fucking titties. I <laughs> couldn't go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't go to fucking sleep. I'm like, beat the fuck still. I'm ready to get to my hotel. It's two, about one o'clock in the morning. Uh. <laughs> but you know, you as comedy, I mean, and I, I I do push the envelope. I talk about everything. I think with me, it's it's. I talk about what I've been through. That's what why, I know. yes, because you like know. you push the envelope in a lot of ways. But when you're pushing the envelope about your own story, yes, nobody can tell you. You can't, you can't say tell that. me it's my I can't. fucking story. It happened to me. Yes, I tell a story about being molested. I'm like, don't uh me, bitch. This is my story. Right. And it's it happened funny. to me. Yeah, it happened You're to me. Fucking... I talk about how my, we had to get my uncle, my special need uncle. My granddaddy bought him pussy every Saturday so he could stop having so many seizures because he thought if he bust a nut, he would stop my uncle from having seizures. That shit don't work, y'all. I was going to say, <laughs> I see where he was going, but I don't think that's how the doctors do it. But he's a doctor. <laughs> but I tell this story and people, oh, I'm like, it's a fucking funny ass story. Yeah, it happened yeah. to me. You're not going to make me not tell my fucking story. Plus, I truly believe it. You, how you know special need people don't want, want to have sex? We're human beings. Right. If God didn't want him to have sex, he wouldn't put that thing down there. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine if a doctor was like, okay, yeah, listen, just like fuck once a week and like, you'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Like, go Saturday ahead. afternoons, just fuck. You'll yeah. be good. <laughs> the seizures will stop right away. That's yeah, a that's it, a it great family work. member, by the way. You, you got an <laughs> uncle, a brother, a friend, whoever will buy you a, buy you some pussy every week. My <laughs> granddaddy bought it all the time for my uncle. That's a and hell he of a get, grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my my dad, I guess my granddad said his son gonna get some pussy. Yeah. <laughs> and he would get the prostitute, be a big old it'd be any prostitute with big old lot of hair on their pussy and I remember because we was kids we had to help him because he was crippled yeah and we had to put him in the bed <laughs> you helped him with the with the well, with I put the him prostitute? in the bed and we pulled his legs apart and let him go at it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like a wine up toy <laughs> 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 oh my god, Miss Pat. <laughs> no, oh my god, my uncle's in there busting nuts left and right. <laughs> he, I'm surprised the holy said, I'm gonna need some more money. He won't, he won't stop going. <laughs> He's getting his money's worth every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and he knew when it was pussy time because he just be smiling. <laughs> 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 Do, are there stories you don't tell? Are there stories that you're like, oh, that one's too much? Um, or, are t- there stories you don't tell because. Like, if you have a personal story you don't want out there, that's one thing. Is there a story you want to tell that you wouldn't because this is too much for, like, the public to handle? No. Um, I worked uh, on, the, on the sitcom. We had a story uh, about my mama's boyfriend uh, who violated me. And we was going to do it in an episode. But, I, but when I got to writing it, I was like, uh... I'm not ready. Yeah. And so we pulled it. For you, but because of you, though, right? We pulled, you weren't no, ready I to do it. I pulled it. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I told the network was down for it. I don't know if you guys watched the episode, but the network was down for it. And I was like, oh, I'm not ready to tell that. You know, if we get a second season, knock on wood, when we get a second mm-hmm, season, mm-hmm. then I fucking... You know, I probably a be stronger. Great sign that the network is down to let you do that. I, mean, I know right because there, are they just giving you a, like a blank slate? Like, go ahead, go do it. No, they have they have opinions that helps out a lot. Uh, you know, they ain't just saying, "Hey, go and go on off the bridge and kill yourself and, and <laughs> end our network career." Yeah. <laughs> <They're not sending laughs> shit. Yeah. But they they allow they allow me to be mean, and right. that's what I appreciate about BET Plus. Cause you know Hulu shot the pilot to this thing, mm, and oh. um, if you if you saw the first episode, they shot the pilot, and BET picked it up and shot the other nine pilot. I mean, shot the other nine episodes. You know, but I, I'm thankful that we found a home in somebody who understand me. Yeah. Cause I'm not I'm not an easy person to understand. If you first meet me, you're gonna think I'm fucking crazy. You like who abused this bitch? But I'm the nicest person in the world. Yeah. I fight yeah. your ass. Yeah, well, you are a little crazy, but you're nice. You could be nice and crazy. No, you crazy when you get a check. I'm mean. I don't get no check. <laughs> <laughs> I want a check with all these fucking pandemic checks they out here giving. Are they giving one for crazy people like me? <laughs> Since you want to call me crazy, you know some shit I don't know. <laughs> uh, the 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 cast of the show is uh, they all seem like fantastic too. Is that did you have a hand in? In writing it, in casting mm-hmm. it, uh, you like you were in control of all of this. Yeah, we was in me and the co me and the co uh, 
creator was in control of all of that. We cast, and Shit. it was so crazy because he had two of the actors and actors in his head, the daddy and the sister. He told me from the day we hooked up, this this your husband. And then he's like, this is your sister. And I'm like, boy, shut the hell up. <laughs> and he, he was right. It we I mean, it's when people see it, it was like, y'all really look like a real fucking family. Yeah, well, it almost does, like, it does feel like it was watching your real family. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem like acting. You guys seem like tight-knit. Well, I'm glad because that's what we was trying to betray. Yeah. A whole bunch of black love in an all-white neighborhood. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that has got to be, I mean, how, how much of that, like, where do you live now? I still live in any. I live in Plainfield, Indiana. Yeah. That show is about 95 to 98% real. Really? Like, real. Those episodes came straight out my motherfucking kitchen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because it's one of those things that almost seems like you, you couldn't even write some of this shit. You know what Yo, I mean? It feels no. like it, ha it has to be real life. Yep. That and uh, most of it was my first album of my comedy. Uh -huh. and we just turned it into episodes. So, That's I mean, great, those are all life experiences that came out of my house. I feel like you I mean so many comics need to have like some sort of I feel like people are like you need to come from the like, trauma or go nah. through something blah 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 but you do like but it does seem like you have gone through like interesting shit that is like can be very funny can be very intriguing if well, you put been it out there through the right some way interest. I think life I mean life is what life give you conversation the things that mm -hmm. you go through in life it also make you grow also so like for instance when I see a young comic on stage with nothing to talk about I'm like hey let me give you some advice go rob a bank yeah. like, so you have something to talk about <laughs> go stick be up be interesting yeah go yeah. stick up a look of stuff cause if I hear one more my mother do my lunch who gives a fuck that your mom is dumb enough to do your 30 year old ass laundry I need to go over there and snap shit out your mama fuck she doing your laundry for and packing you sack lunches to go do open mic <laughs> fuck is wrong with your mama old dumb woman <laughs> go rob a liquor store. It's yeah, true, I tell though, him, you, like, I can mean, you go do something well, interesting so you can have something to talk about? <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about your dating life. Well, I can't get late. You wonder why you musty <laughs> fuck. <laughs> your shoe, your tennis shoes dirty. <laughs> yeah, nobody wanna, who wanna fuck somebody with some dirty shoes? <laughs> nobody black I know. <laughs> I feel like you are making fun of me specifically. <laughs> when you when you see a guy like when you see like like just corny white boys like us, what do you what do you think? What's your I didn't first? Say you were fucking corny. <laughs> no, I'm we, saying it. We're we no, know, we're we self aware. We, we know, know that we're just corny white boys. Uh, well, you do stand up? No, no, we we do like live podcasts. We don't okay. do like stand up routines, but um, we do this kind of shit where we just you know. Well, I don't say shit to you. You don't say shit to me, you know? I, just, I mean, if you're trying to dance, I was like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to fucking dance. But if you just doing, you know, you, I mean, it ain't like I'm going to fuck y'all. <laughs> well, now I'm offended. <laughs> you won't you, fuck me? Uh, for what if what? I take you out and wine you and dine you? I'm not you? trying to get no call. I mean, I'm I'm legal. I mean, what am I fucking you for? <laughs> I don't need no health care. <laughs> you don't benefit me. <laughs> you think I go, oh, because I don't need no country club membership. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I got a pool membership. It's not a pool country club. Yeah, I can't just, get you into golf or tennis, but I can get you into the pool. Well, I got my own goddamn pool. Yeah, I bet you do. Right. You, what? You, why don't you, you go out with me and uh, for, for for fun and for your own pleasure? No well, pleasure. What you? What am I gonna do with you? You twenty some years old. I don't How need old do you, you think I am, Miss Pat? Twenty five. <sighs> Bless your heart. Well, how old are you? I'm 36. Well, you're 36. I don't need you putting them three inches on me. <laughs> <laughs> how how big would my dick have to be for you to want to have sex with me, Miss Pat? Not big at all, because I'm not looking at your little uncooked chicken leg. You keep that shit up there to yourself. I, I don't want none of that white dickness. <laughs> how, have you fucked white guys? Yeah. Hell no! Never? <laughs> Never once? I jacked a dick for a wrestling ticket. <laughs> you wait, what? I jacked a white dick to get me a wrestling ticket. <laughs> <laughs> to like a WWE event? No, to an NWA. Back when the first wrestling man, I'm 50 years old. When that shit first came, I remember NWA. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and you jerked some dude off to get a ticket to go see a live? Yeah, he gave me $200. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty, you know, jerk somebody off to $200. Bucks. That was 1980. Yeah, that's, that's good money back then. Then I feel now. like <laughs> shit. Hand job's going for at least. Yeah. Hand job's got to be I'm at least quite sure 500 now, you know? I don't know what they're going for, but if I'm going to put my hand on your white dick, it's going to be something more than $20. <laughs> <laughs> little scary ass pale stick. Is there any white guy you would? Who, who's a white guy you would fuck? 
Is there like an actor or a singer or somebody who you do? Sir, I'm old. I got hot flashes. I wouldn't even fuck my own husband right about now, okay? <laughs> I don't want no dick. I need a career. <laughs> I've been getting dick since elementary school. The dick ain't nothing but two, three seconds and it out of there. I don't need that shit. <laughs> Hell, I, I can borrow a cold dick from my daughter. <laughs> she got them dicks so nice. <laughs> I don't even know what that what? means. What, what is, is that what is, what is deal cold dicks on ice mean? Deal though. She got it on oh, ice. Deal <laughs> yeah, her dicks ain't got no heat to it. <laughs> y'all slow. Y'all don't be playing with deal though. Y'all look like y'all play with deal though. Uh, not... <laughs> y'all look like y'all stick them to the table and take turn licking them. <laughs> <laughs> What? What? We're giving off dildo licking vibes. We gotta re we gotta rethink our whole fucking thing, man. We gotta rethink our whole shit. You look like you stick them to the table and lick them. Fuck. That's the last reputation I want to have. See this? So this is. What did I say two minutes ago? I said when you see a couple guys like us, what do you think, Sean? Say so I don't think dildos. shit about you. Two minutes later, you guys look like you stick dildos to the table and lick them. <laughs> Fuck you, Miss Pat. You lying ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think when I see you. You look like you lick dildo. <laughs> That is, that is dildo wildly <laughs> <laughs> That's the most demeaning thing Have anyone's ever, ever said about me. Dildo? Have I ever licked a dildo? No, touch one. Well, yeah. Of course, yeah. I touch them, yeah. Uh, when I'm using that with him. That with my mouth. That <laughs> <laughs> with my tongue. You, you never kissed them? <laughs> my, my daughter said the silicone ones are the best because they soft like the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you stick it in the microwave for about a half a second to heat them up. Really? Yeah, wow. they'll burn your bottom Wait, lip. Why do you say soft? They'll burn like your really? bottom lip. <laughs> <laughs> You mean soft like the real thing? Dicks aren't supposed to be soft. You look like your dick soft. <laughs> you know what we got here, Mr. Pat? I don't think we have any on hand, but one of our sponsors is this thing you, uh, a little wipe that you open up, you rub it on your dick, and it numbs your dick up so you can last longer. What do you think of that? <laughs> so it won't be a two to three, two to three so, second thing. I don't like give a fuck. I don't got no dick. <laughs> <laughs> but for the guys you're fucking. I'm married. I mean, when you were fucking, you know what I'm I mean? I'm married. I'm Your still husband's fucking, fucking you. You can put it on and last longer. I feel like that's a big deal. Uh, give me some of them wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I got a freaky friend with me. She give me some of them white. Go give me some of them white, little white girl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep all the whites for your damn self. <laughs> Share your white privilege. Give me some dick wipes. <laughs> 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 what are your dick wipes at? Y'all yeah, yeah, we, we'll you out of here with a good, on, with a goodie bag full of white dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that dildo lasts longer. Uh, what it's been obviously a, a crazy past like, eighteen months now, um, and some of it's been like you know deathly serious and hard to like navigate and have certain conversations and comedy and all that. Did you? Did you like feel that or you just like fuck it? I, I just tell my jokes, I do my comedy, I, just tell I can, my I can have and, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about no cancellation policy. I mean, cuz <laughs> I mean everything I tell is from me. So, mm -hmm. I'm not out here, you know, screaming the shit the baby did. I don't even know what the fuck the baby the did. Ba <laughs> <laughs> the baby. It's so many I hope I got the right rapper cuz I yes, heard it's a little it, baby and the baby. <laughs> yeah. And I think the baby got canceled. Yeah, the baby so, got canceled. Yeah, and so and I'm not tried doing, to apologize and fucked it up even worse. Yeah, it was even a whole worse. Mess. So, I mean, I am trying I don't do anything that I need to apologize for, I think because everything I try to do is reference to me something mm -hmm. That I've been through mm -hmm. You know If I use a term I'm talking about myself I don't think There's anybody Alive Who would even have The balls to try To cancel this <laughs> To he even try to, to I don't think You could be but I don't even think these, you know, it's always these like well, you, journalists who ever want to take you down. I don't think they would even dare. Well, I tell them, kiss my ass upside down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, like, hey, I'm 49 years old. I'm grown. Why can't I say, if I'm not out here killing and hurting nobody, why can't I say what the fuck I want to mm -hmm. say? I'm not going to use no wrong term. You know you know the words to get you canceled. I leave mm -hmm. them fucking words alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, them words Yeah, you don't go looking house. for trouble. You know, no, you don't, I don't mean, have to do like Well, they be blatantly. coming to me online. Like, yeah. I dropped a clip of my show, and these people talking shit. Uh, just talking bullshit. So I tell them, get the fuck off my page, bitch. <laughs> and yeah, I don't, don't watch it then. Yeah, what, what are they trying to say? Um, it's bringing a black community down. I said, so did your daddy when he left. And <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm black, I can say that. I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck that was my... another one That's, where I'm like, I I'm don't like, know. I can't laugh. laugh. <laughs> it's a kill shot, <laughs> but I'm not going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. Just leave me the fuck alone. They be <laughs> fucking with me. I got blocked on Facebook for 30 days because Netflix dropped a clip of me. And it was... Um, the clip was... Um, 
talking about my grandbaby, how I cuss out my grandbaby. Mm-hmm. And but she, my grandbaby, my grandbaby, the clip was she said, my mama said you get on her motherfucking nerve. That's what my grandbaby said to me. Honestly, I said, and your mama get on my motherfucking nerve. Mm-hmm. And that's why your uh, my my son ain't gonna marry your mama and your two you ugly and your two brothers ugly too. <laughs> <laughs> and so they was like, oh my god, how can she say that? And so I told the lady, I said, what kind of grandmama are you? I said, you mad because a squirrel wouldn't fuck you, man. <laughs> and Facebook blocked me for ni- thirty days. Really? Really? Yeah, I, but she a squirrel wouldn't fuck her because squirrel <laughs> don't fuck people. So where was I lying at? <laughs> So I'm fighting with Facebook. I'm like, I didn't do anything wrong. All I said was squirrels don't fuck, wouldn't fuck her. They don't fuck people. <laughs> That's a fact. So that, Facebook is a pro bestiality company? Yeah. I guess. Because <laughs> I got blocked for 30 days. Like, what is wrong with you? Uh, that's crazy. That is fucking crazy to me. A, a squirrel wouldn't fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they come at you and then they expect you not to respond. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna respond respond late at night when I'm on pills and shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna respond the right way. Kiss my ass. My my response already kiss my ass yeah. upside down and backwards, unwashed. <laughs> 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 Who you gonna tell? I told you, kiss my ass, unwashed. <laughs> <laughs> <Ugh. Yeah. laughs> Why uh, you having flashback? You kiss asses on. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it right now, and it's not. Um, it's don't not a you scene picture I my want. ass and the ass you kiss? I kiss, kiss washed, unwashed. I'll kiss them all. I'm done. You You're look like it, it. with that KFC beard. <laughs> 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 you look like it. <laughs> Is that why your teeth whiter than heels? <laughs> Cause you, you eating chlamydia. <laughs> You kill me, Miss Pat. <laughs> <laughs> you were you were filming this during the pandemic, right? I sure did. I filmed it during I the pandemic. I love that too. Like just fucking let's get it done. Let's keep going. Like you got a chance, you got an opportunity, let's make it happen. It was it was kinda hard because you had to wear you had to get tested every three days and you know, you had to wear all of that, that equipment and stuff, but it was well worth it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the, the final product, I think me and the co the co person, the co creator is really happy with it. Are you are you ready, uh, like you said, knock on wood when you get season two? Plenty more stories to tell. Plenty got, more scenarios you know, and all you that. You know what's crazy? I don't even have a deal for season two yet, but I, I always try to work ahead. Mm-hmm. So me and the co-writer, co-creator, we have already started. We have about four episodes ready to really? go. Really? Mm-hmm. Are they still all personal stories? Or are you, oh, are, yeah. This is, are you ever going to run out? Is there ever going to come a time I, where you're like, we got to make some shit up? Because I, I told all my stories. No, it's not about stories. It's just everyday life. Yeah. I, I mean, I ain't going to run out to God turn my light bulbs off. Right. So it's just everyday life. Mm-hmm. That's you know, I think that's what you're so good at is just like taking everyday life shit and making it funny. Because then you never run out of material. It's yeah. Like every you know, single day is a new source of material. To, I think that's why like TV is so boring because writers, you know, I get on the, I don't get on the public bus, but I pay attention to people. Mm-hmm. If you will pay attention to people, they will write you an episode. Yep. And and, yep. Pe- and so many other people can relate. Mm-hmm. Like I go to the, my beauty, my, my, uh, the girl who come in here and do my hair. I go to her beauty salon and I'm standing there inside one day and I crack it and knock on the door and beating on the one and I lock the door. She wants to get the gun. I said, oh, don't get the gun. I'm going to go out here and whoop the crackhead ass. <laughs> so <laughs> I went out there and hit the crackhead. And he's like, I'm crazy. I said, well, I'm crazy too, bitch. Mm-hmm. And he thought I was crazy and he walked off and left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you can't get that shit in Beverly Hills. Yeah. So I like right. sitting around. You just listen to real people situations. Right. At a restaurant, just pay attention. Your episode will write itself if mm-hmm. you want to be honest. Yep. Are you still going to be doing stand up and whatnot? Or are you focusing on this totally now? No, I'm going to do stand up because yeah. stand up is what I can control. Right. You know, who the, who knows? She, I might, you might release your podcast and they don't like what I said and be like, oh, that's it. But mm-hmm. one thing they can't take from me is what I can control, which is the stage. Amen, girl. You do it better than anybody else out there. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I just say, hey, if you want me, I'm here. If you don't, I know where they do want me. Stand yeah. up, want me. I'd sell a few tickets, so I'm going to be okay. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think you'll be all right. But I also think that this is something that, like, I, I could see this show being being a hit because I don't think anybody else can do it the way you can do it. You know what I mean? Like, who else out there could really put out this show for white people, for black people, for all people? Like, I don't think anybody you know can what? tell it the way it's you do so it. You know what? It's so crazy because my fan base is so white, and they so pumped to come over to BET. <laughs> yeah. Plus. And I was like, come on over here, white people. You hear me, white people? Bring your ass over to BET Plus and mayonnaise that bitch up. Let's go. Because <laughs> we got the hot sauce. We just need y'all to bring the mayonnaise. <laughs> I love it. Everybody yeah. go watch. It's bring them pimento cheese sandwiches on, goddammit. <laughs> Chill 
at the house with chips and pimento seed cheese and mayonnaise dip. <laughs> Bring your ass on, white people. It is, uh, and ranch on your fucking piece. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, you really gonna eat that bullshit? That be like somebody nutted in a cup. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what do you just say? You eat unclean ass. And you over there coughing? Really, sir? <laughs> and you told me earlier, you lick automatic dildos. <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't tell you what? What's your race? What's your race? My race? You pink. Yeah. <laughs> God damn! Why you pink? <laughs> yeah, he's very. You the same color that Taylor yeah. on your shirt. <laughs> what is your nationality? <laughs> Crayola. <laughs> <laughs> he's not white. You white. He, you fucking pink. <laughs> Do you see this shit? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you pink? You need to go to the doctor. <laughs> Is it, are you E.T.? <laughs> <laughs> Have you you didn't notice your co-star Oh, no, I've been making fun of him all month. He got, he got a sunburn to you start got, the month, and he never, got it never went away. I got rosacea. I got rosacea. I'm just Irish. He's just a, oh, just is a, that what it is? Y'all white, turn pink? This is what happened to white yeah. people when they go in the sun. Yeah. I was I was in the sun yesterday, and that's, this is what happens. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> is your, is your you wiener know, pink? Is, is my wiener pink? It, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty pink, to be honest. It's like a, it's not quite like a red rocket for a dog, but it's 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 got a pinkish hue to it for sure. White oh. guys' dicks are sometimes like uh, Neapolitan ice cream. You get the vanilla, the chocolate, and the strawberry. Ain't no chocolate to no white man dick. Now come <laughs> on with that. <laughs> don't you Neapolitan me with that bullshit? No, you, uh, don't be trying to get. Don't be trying to throw the black dick on you. <laughs> what a black dick dick at, at the very top, <laughs> a bun of the nuts. <laughs> white man dick like Neapolitan. Well, what a black man dick just chocolate ice cream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, you know, yep. White man dick is like, oh uh, sure, but just. Vanilla and pink and orange. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's probably description. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Where you gonna get the chocolate from? The shit staying in your drawer. <laughs> they over here trying to trick me. You see this shit? Don't tell me you got black dick at the tip. <laughs> Please. It's the middle. Is where yeah, it's, it's the you middle. Wish. Is where we get the dark. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh -huh. it's a whole that's thing. That's when you tying it down with a rubber band to turn it black. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go next door and have you answer some questions for a video. But okay. uh, BET Plus is where you can catch out the Miss, the Miss Pat show. August 12th, tomorrow. Let's go. Everybody go watch it. Make sure we get season two out there. And uh, Bitch got kids to feed. I need y'all to watch this, white people. Come on <laughs> over there, and we're going to pray together. This is not a black show. It's an American show. I live in an all-white neighborhood where they bring you cakes and shit. And they have their guns on their hip. But I love my neighbors. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say amen? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Pat calling you pink. <laughs> Miss Pat calling you pink is so funny. Not because she called you pink, but because it, it sounded like a genuine question. Like, what race are you? Yeah. yeah. Like, what species what? are you? But like, what your color? Fa your, your face is super pink. <laughs> your face is pink. Yeah. Your hands, it's... your arms are definitely. Have you um Have you seen Suicide Squad yet? No. Okay. There's a there's a creature in that named Weasel, that. He's not pink at all. I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but I, I think when you're when you're a drunk mess, you're gonna be the weasel from Suicide Squad. Now. <laughs> That's what I, I, I think. By the way, just, just he's not pink, but I could see Miss Pat looking at you like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> it's like that's he's he's weasel. Uh, and so when, and when you watch Suicide Squad later, you're gonna be super offended by that. Really? <laughs> just so you know. Just so you know. Um, but yeah, she was so genuinely like, are you white? Or are you pink? And imagine just. Just meet, not meeting us for the first time, but we don't know each other all while and being like, you motherfuckers look like you lick dildos. <laughs> <laughs> Go uh, be on the lookout for Miss Pat's Answer the Internet, which will be coming out in the coming weeks. She has so much fun when she does that. She yeah. makes she gives out answers that don't make sense, and she knows it. <laughs> At one point, she started laughing to herself. And she goes, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> just spitting out shit that's just like off the fucking walls, which is exactly what Annie Letterman did with us for this uh, second interview here. Just completely just, you know, she is like uh, if – a person from Always Sunny was real. Yeah. You know, she's like a Philly Always Sunny girl, but she's a real human in the real world. It's wild. So Annie Letterman on Case Radio is brought to you by Miller Lite. The perfect time to open up a ice cold beer. 
and uh, throw it back while you listen to one of the funnier interviews we've ever done here on KFC Radio. It's only 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces, so you don't have to worry about getting fat. It's got great taste, less filling, so you don't have to worry about being bloated. It uh, is a high-quality beer, so you don't have to worry about drinking garbage. Uh, and the best part is you can get it delivered right to your door when you go to MillerLite.com slash KFC to find all the delivery options near you. It's available pretty much everywhere they sell beer. It's you know If you're back out at the bars or restaurants, you can drink them there, of course. Uh, and also in the comfort of your own home. Uh, always do so responsibly, though, from the Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories, 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Crack that Miller Lite and enjoy the interview. It's Andy Letterman on KSC Radio. Guys, this took you, this this took you like 20 st- minutes. It was name, <laughs> signature, date. It took you like a solid five minutes. I, if my mom would still fill out forms for me. I'd be so happy with that. <laughs> no, I am not, like, I can't smoke weed. I don't, I'm not currently smoking weed, and, like, this is why. Yeah. I, I, I have early onset Alzheimer's. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like you're sober and everything now because you're getting too <laughs> stupid, right? I'm not, I can barely read to begin with. Like, why <laughs> add more things? <laughs> uh, why have you? Where, when have you run for your life? Oh, I just told half that story on the girls' podcast. Uh, just in like Jersey City. I mean, I just there's been a lot of childhood yeah. trauma that got me to this beautiful place that I'm at now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you are the poster child for like uh, if you want to be a comic, you have to go through some trauma. Yeah, like if you want to be a comic, because I've heard so many disprove that. Like, yeah. no, no, I've had a great upbringing. I'm just funny, and then there's like, oh no, I've been through I'm some like, shit. Yeah, well, you don't have to be, but it's <laughs> right. But it's more, your book is cooler. It's a longer <laughs> book. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna have to write it for me because I don't know how to spell. But <laughs> it's fine. It is true though. It's like I mean, you know. We're boring, like you know. If you if you're happy and but fuck, something else is fucked up. I'm very happy, but it's like you. It's like we all have fucked up shit. It's like it's some. Why are you happy? Yeah, what's up with that? I just what's am, fucking happiness? I well, you're rich like, now. You're good. I mean, I'm not rich, but I'm rich. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm fucking yeah. rich. Like I just feel like I can have anything I want. I can get anything I want. I'm just realizing the control I have to manipulate my. Okay, Cersei. My, Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, no, I do feel like a sorcerer. Right? Yeah. Uh, no, I I feel like you you're probably rich though, right? And um. I'm making money. I'm I'm yeah. consistently making money, which I was li- I went from like living in my car. Yeah, you you've been you've been down to, <laughs> I mean, to the bottom so of the barrel, down. right? <laughs> yeah. And then back. It's so awkward yeah. when you go back. It's like oh. Move over at the they curb here. See you, fellas. <laughs> I had a friend. I had a friend whose couch I would always sleep on to the point where he was like, "I'm gonna give you the couch," and I was like, "But where? What if I?" Lose the apartment, <laughs> need, but I was able to get rid of the couch and get a new one. What, it was, was free from Whitney, but I what still was the? Uh, <laughs> I feel like you know your name has been around for like I feel like now you really like popped kind of yeah. like you're established, but I feel like your name has been around for a while. But what, was there like times where you thought you were like all right, I'm set, I, I'm good now, and then every yeah, you yeah. everything you get, you're like okay, this is it. But like I think when I first got um, Chelsea lately. Uh huh. That was like back. Yeah, in that like you were like consistent on that, right? Yeah, and then but you they you, they always weren't sure they were gonna have you back. Mm, so so you were always you. like, yeah, you were always like, oh, um, that's gotta be the most like, uncomfortable. Uh, way and to then work. I didn't get asked back. Mm. Like, like I don't know how much. Fuck before, you, Chelsea. But it was like no, but you know what's so funny? Like how crazy is it that she just had me on? Like who was I? I was like a three-year comic that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. was like blonde and younger than her, and you know, and go, <laughs> yeah, like it was yeah, just yeah, like yeah. why was she helped? She just helped me out right, of nowhere. Right. She didn't know me or anything. I feel like most chicks do not do that. No. Most people in general. But I mean, she did, there were times where I was like, well, why did she not? And they're like, you could have had your hair parted the wrong way. Like, who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. just, you know, I don't know. But but I think I can't say really anything bad about I mean, it's like insane she had me on there. Right, right. But it was scary. It was really scary to do the show. Really? They'd be like, don't look at her, but look at her. I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? That's so tough because I mean to be funny, you gotta like bust balls yeah. and talk shit. And, but like, she would by the time I was there, I think she was over the show. Like she would never take. Oh, that was yeah. what was funny though. She would never retake stuff. She would flub like, things. Done. She got my name wrong a million times. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean that's kind of what we do around here. It's yeah, like, it's better. Like it's when fun. like we've done live shows and then we've done pre-recorded and sometimes people are like, oh, I want it live. I'm like, bro, it's the same fucking. Thing. I like your no Cuomo joke. That's funny. Yeah, no Cuomo. Good. good. I mean, I'm not perverted. I'm just Italian. It's is so funny. The Funniest thing I think I've ever heard, <laughs> and it's I, I not I, inaccurate. Well, Italians are there's all there's something yeah. to it. Italians are all fucking perverted. It's like remember like all <laughs> bugs are insects, but not all insects. Or no wait, all insects are no all bugs are insects, but not all insects, insects are, bugs. are bugs. It's like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, it kind of works. But I now mean, I am shocked to see you guys in person. You're so much more gingery than I thought. Yeah. yeah! 
Get her out of the bench! Fuck yeah! I didn't even pay her to say that. <laughs> Gendry's, like but a, you guys were saying debate. I had. Listen, I had. You said that you guys had these like happy upbringings. <laughs> We know what happened to your kind. <laughs> <laughs> gingers have it rough, okay? I love gingers because they've been through some shit. <laughs> well, you guys aren't no, as angry. You no, don't no, have like no. that Santino deep By down By the way, rage. what is this you guys shit? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. It's just him. him. I mean, you're ginger as fuck, I am dude. not ginger, you dumb bitch. There's no <laughs> fucking I am, ginger. I'm blonder than you are. I don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah, here. he's been pushing this, this blonde thing for a month. His but hair. blondes are so much gingery than gingers. Like, blondes are just like the ultimate. Gin. Yeah, that's really true. They, they, they you they, barely have eyebrows, brother. You are a fucking gin. <laughs> no way. Fuck <laughs> off. This guy usually, like during the summers, he will legit not have eyebrows, and it looks like he has alopecia, and it's hilarious. <laughs> this is There's like you sh- keeping God. someone that's like a little gingery, or more yeah, ginger just, next to you, yeah. and be like, "Look how unginger I am." Wait, he, so the first, I guess, it was like the first weekend of this month, like Fourth uh, of July, he came back. Pinker than he is now, and his hair was as red as a fucking orange. And he was like, I'm so tan and blonde. And everyone was like, <laughs> like What? It's a little you skewed. Are you are colorblind. We're so sorry you're not going to be able to be in the Air Force, sir. <laughs> wow. Um, but can I give you, a, your skin is just glowing. I'll take that. Sure. Why are not? You, how young are you? I am. Wait, what do you think? How old is he? You've got to be in your 20s with that skin. Mm-mm. No, you're in your 30s? Yeah. Wow. 32. I was like, Wow, 32? Mm-hmm. I thought you said 42 Actually, for a second. I was like about to literally like stab myself in the neck. <laughs> Give myself a tracheotomy hole, which by the way, I signed someone's tracheotomy hole the other day. Things are really Wow, happening. you are what? living the dream, I girl. have manifested an audience with different things happening and it's really fun. I signed the trachea, like, like the tube. He came like, up and he was like, he was like, sign it. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And he was great. He was awesome. So I, I put an arrow and I said, insert here. <laughs> his was Wait, like, you sewn signed up. like his skin around? Yeah, or he the said, thing? yeah. Like he that. said, well, I circled okay. it. Got it. And then, That's in case yeah, it wasn't and I signed it. Yeah. But I have video of it. I got to post. But that I'm like is, so excited about what it. I a love fucking it. Freak I like show. people's the little. The Andy like, Letterman yeah. fan base must be a bunch of fucking. I just freaks. like well, everyone's a fucking freak. That's yeah. what I like about it. No, everyone's but you, a freak. yeah, you find you find the the real freaks. But the, no, the real freaks are the not the real freaks. The real freaks yeah, are the people true. that you can't see their shit. That yeah, is true. Yeah. Because yeah. think about like how cool you are if someone's always, like imagine your hand is weird, right? Every time you shake someone's hand, they have someone has a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have always yeah. had this hand. Yeah. So think of how like good you are at life <laughs> if you've gone through that so many times. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I always think about that because it's like it's a, the other people. I always say the best audience members are people with physical disabilities, and the worst audience members are the people sitting next to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're like, are they okay? It's like shut the fuck up. They're fine. <laughs> they had two fingers this whole time. <laughs> That's why I do the show. I keep the fucking weirdo ginger with me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a buddy. Not a buddy is a, is a friend of a friend and he he blew off two of his fingers with a firework oh my god right and he passed out from the pain it's almost a dream like that's almost like it's yes. like <laughs> <laughs> but he passed out from the pain and then they took a skin graft oh. from like his thigh oh, this is the best. and so he woke up and he was like like his hands were like tied down so he couldn't like <laughs> scratch and stuff and he woke up and he's like he's like dad why is why is my like dick hurt yeah and his dad told me he blew off his dick and he, and he let him think it for two days <laughs> so he'd feel better about his fingers <laughs> yeah. or because uh, he's just a fucking sociopath yeah. letting really your rough. letting your son think that he didn't have a dick for two days is, that's, a, that's a life ruiner you guys I'm so happy to be looking at your real faces this is yeah. such a moment yeah I always see you guys I like your profiles Thanks. you guys are yeah, great what do you think? I, I do often think about like how many people especially early barstool it was like Zoom before Zoom. We yeah. were doing like all webcam shit. And it's like, yeah, nobody saw my legs. Nobody saw anything other than but like this. But it's so your ginger legs. But um, <laughs> it's so, nobody really saw them because of all the freckles. But um, <laughs> no, with masks, like I was sitting next to this guy with a mask and I like just assumed I knew his face. And then he took it. I remember going like, oh, that is like oh. a different shaped nose than I thought. <laughs> like, holy shit. You just see people's faces. It's like, holy fuck. Were you running around in a mask present, uh, pretending to be ScarJo? No, I didn't. She lost the suit, right? Uh, didn't she lose did she the lose battle? It? Yeah, I think she got fired. So I am not Scarlett Johansson. I do not align with her. And if you do need a replacement, I am available. Yo, I, I think she should have fucking won that shit. I don't what know what was, it was what about. Was the suit? The, yeah. So um, her Look contract, at one minute, man. Yeah, right I got now. you, bro. <laughs> Look at him. Her contract uh, was a percentage <laughs> of box office at the theaters. Uh-huh. For Black Widow? Yes. Okay. And then they just released it on Disney Plus as well. 
And like months. It's actually African American Widow. <laughs> <laughs> months earlier, though, she was like, uh, "We're hearing rumors that you're going to drop this on Disney Plus, which is like drastically going to cut into my box office." Yeah. And they were like, "No, no, no, it's okay, we're not." And then they just did it because they were like, "You're dead, bitch. Black Widow's gone. We don't yeah. give a fuck about you." So well, I didn't see it. I Spoiler. <laughs> She died in the No, she War. died in the... Yeah, oh, you, you I don't dummy. You haven't know. seen anything. I you don't watch fucking them. care. No, I watch them. I have no clue what's happening. I'm like, what are the guys? They're flying? Yeah, There's you're, the guy you've got to be I'm the like a girl worst watch to watch a movie with. No, I love to talk. You know who I'm, I'm going to do? That? So wait, wait. What, who did that? Is that the... Is that the boyfriend? Is I just sit there and make jokes. Like, I'm literally yeah. like, I'm just in there like, Camel Toe or whatever, you know? <laughs> you seen that? <laughs> um, but I went to the movies. I can't remember. What, it was Maybe it was that actual movie. Yeah. I think it was that one where she died. I think I saw it with, like, Big J, Sal, um, Ari. I was sitting next to Ari, and I remember having a great time sitting next to Ari. I do think he unfollowed me on Instagram afterwards. But in person, he seemed to be really into it. <laughs> I gotta ask him about that. I'm doing his podcast tomorrow. I'm gonna be like, do you remember when we went to the movie? And then you unfollowed me? Do you remember that you unfollowed you me? You and Ari what have gotta be a fucking. Do? Yeah, to, to get to, someone to unfollow you. I think Ari I came out fear? in support. Like, I came out in support of Kobe Bryant's family. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said, I feel bad. And he was like, get out, bitch. <laughs> no, so funny. No, I love all these words. It is it is a good um exercise when your friends that you see every day unfollow you. You go, oh, well, I can't take this reality reality check. Thing, but um, <laughs> Cause I I've done that to people too where it's not even like I yo unfollowing someone is fucking no I'll do it behavior. but you know what no but I'll do it and it's not even For like what it's like you're too many selfies them. too many selfies you just mute, mute them but they should be punished for yeah the I was gonna say that's what I mean that, it's a it's a deliberate like I could just ignore this and not ruin your day there are but some I'm choosing people that to I've fucking ruin your day guilted into following that I yeah. unfollow because I'm like I don't really fuck with you and it's not that I don't like it's just my I'm, I'm, ex it's like extending an olive branch that I'm not ready to give you, so I have to yeah. take it back. And it's not that I won't go back for the follow, but it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate you. <laughs> I wish like, I could unfollow you in real I know, life. I'm like, I'm <laughs> but it isn't. But I, but I have to really not care when people do it. It's like a good exercise in life to be like, don't take it personally. Who knows what's going on? Oh, but that's the, that's the thing. You absolutely have to take it personally. It's only a personal yeah, thing. It's, it's the only reason personal. you would do it is to personally, like, it's a personal problem. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Muting's just such a puss move. Yeah. Well, it is. It's just like, not real. Why. I'm a yeah, real yeah. bitch. I like to be, guess I like to tell my, Do you Andy Haynes people? said this to me. Andy Haynes said this to me last night and I was so flattered. He goes, you, he goes, your superpower is that you're honest. And I went, I went, everyone's superpower. He goes, no, you're specific. I was like, thank you, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is scary. Cause I mean, if, if Rosebud's not honest enough, like <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rosebud was like getting in a fight with someone last night. I, no <laughs> surprise the there. Was, well, no. she said, this was the argument. Like some girl was heckling one of the other comics. She was on the show downstairs and this was the upstairs show. And so the woman came out and then started talking, interrupted, was first heckling, then interrupted the conversation that she was having with Derek. So she said, you're gonna need to walk away, right? Thinking that she was just saying, step away from the conversation. But then Brian Simpson's in town and he was like, you know that means like, you're gonna need to walk away so my fists don't fly. And yeah. she was like, Oh, oh yeah, God. I didn't see that. But yeah. I was like, but also people should be a little scared. Why not? Back up. Back up. Be scared. She, she The threat of violence is important. Hey, she came here. Uh, Andy and Rosebud came like maybe like a day or a week apart or something like that. And Who we did you answer like the better. <laughs> Who's well, team on? We, it was so it was such a perfect like, yeah, you guys are really a married couple. Uh, <laughs> Rosebud the question was like um what the fuck it, was it the was, question? It was, it was like, like it was uh it was would you rather have your significant other read your mind during sex or the rest of the time. Right. And and, and she yeah, she she was like I uh her answer involved the part where she said like, well, it can't be what, during sex because I'll be thinking about like LeBron James or James <laughs> no, Harden or an entire NBA team and, so and then Andy sad. came in. Then Andy came in and we asked him the same question about Rosebud and he goes, "Well, I mean, Rosebud's probably thinking about an NBA team running a train on her." And I was like, "Oh my god, you guys are perfect for each other." <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> he was, I don't want to hear it talk about the whole team. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it actually was the whole team. That's so weird. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. What is uh? So you're doing um. Bloodbath, bloodbath, right? It's Trash Tuesday now. It's tra yeah, that changed, right? So you started yeah. out with what? Why? What was the? There's a legal thing. Was there really? What? What? Just, we're just not talking about it? it because it's like it. we don't want our fans to go. Okay, I wasn't sure if we're it was trying like to. We're this. trying to be. 
not so the, same show though just new name yeah okay same I, show I new sure name something... trash tuesday it's so fun watch i'm so proud of it what a what a crew you assembled you it's guys fun, are like right? the avengers of weird you know <laughs> you got like the different like ends of the spectrum so here i feel like you know like uh, i like I, the poor esther is always like just appalled with you <laughs> but i've known her for 12 years so it's been 12 she, years of her being like Annie, or andrew she calls me andrew andrew <laughs> it's so funny was that uh um, but then she's also like way more disgusting too like she'll be like yeah what i wash my hair with dish soap because it's so greasy and we're like esther that's crazy <laughs> that is I'm like, crazy esther, that's person behavior <laughs> so much crazier than running from a drag queen for your life do you understand <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, at least he washes it i don't shampoo. <laughs> this guy does not shampoo his fucking greasy ginger hair well, it doesn't look un. But does it smell I, like scalp? Probably. It's What's probably that? Like, does it smell like scalp? Does it smell like scalp? I don't think so. You want to take, take a whiff? Okay. Oh, what on. is what does scalp exactly yeah. smell like? You know what it smells like. No. It's See? weird. He doesn't. He, he's like an inside-out cat. Do you have something he on it? Doesn't have. What's hair. that? Do we have something? Do you have something on it? Product or something? No. What's nothing. the smell? I don't know. It's just his this is pheromones. awkward. I have a boyfriend, but I think we might be a pheromone match. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he That's so he embarrassing when you say that when you're like, oh my God, what's your cologne? And the person's like, I'm not wearing it. And you're like, oh, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Evolution is wants us to have a kid. I got to go. <laughs> I got to leave before I fuck you. <laughs> no, and I love my boyfriend. He's so cute. How long have you been dating him? Since right before the pandemic. We, I oh, was gonna so break up with him. That's doomed to end. Well, I was like, no, I was like, I'm gonna fucking, I was like, I was gonna dump your. He's he's 11 years younger than me. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, girl. <laughs> I know, so he's I what, know. 45? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I just turned 47. <laughs> um, thanks for telling them. Um, no, I yeah, we met. He worked at the comedy store. I was just gonna hook up with him. We both like sur Survivor, so he came over to watch Survivor. So my eyelashes are popping off. But um, it's so embarrassing when you just have like one bald eyelash. <laughs> Did you ever try the magnet ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The magnet ones where there's like magnet fake eyelashes where you put like a glue on it. Supposed to, but that's not possible, okay? So then halfway yeah. through the day, you're like, something feels light on one side. I'm like, one bald eye. Anyway, you, you <laughs> I, the shit that you guys do is crazy. It's so. Although fun. I do, I, I remember thinking like. Who gives a fuck about your eyelashes? But then when you see they like, look done great, up versus not done up, I'm like, that makes a difference. Every yeah. picture looks good. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's. I learned that trick a long time ago. Do you know where, uh, why uh, fake lashes were invented? In France, they were invented. Because of gingers that don't have eyelashes like <laughs> you too? <laughs> or, um, they were invented by <laughs> prostitutes. It wouldn't hurt, guys. For when uh, like guys come on them, they just can peel them off and throw them away. No. Put new ones on, swear to God. That is not what they're for. Swear they're cum God. catchers. Swear to God. <laughs> swear to God that was told to me by someone. I swear that a girl told me that. I will tell you, that. when I was at my whoriest phase, the most horrific thing to leave behind was your eyelashes at yeah. a guy's oh, house. That is pretty disgusting. That is the yeah. most disgusting thing. Yeah, I've seen videos like, where they're And they're expensive. They're You're like, these were Mac. Um, I'm like, hey... I wasn't those? planning on ever talking to you again, but... Ew. I didn't need those back. Did you leave the hotel room yet? <laughs> <laughs> are you still are, are you still in town? <laughs> oh, this is a fake number? Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, but, um, your boy, you, you were dating your boyfriend. Pandemic. I was going to break up with him, and then the pandemic hit, and I was like, stay forever. And then <laughs> we just were, were in love. We have a dog. It's just it's oh, really wow. nice. Oh, wow. Shit. Yeah, it's really nice. And then he like started a business. We've just both done really well and wow. he's working on a Netflix show. Oh no big deal. shit, girl. He's half Asian during Stop Asian Hate. It's wow. like five so that so like, So that's the so real cute. that's the I'm real like, answer there. So amazing. Like I can still tell Asian jokes. <laughs> it's Have the you seen my boyfriend? Pass, the pass I get is pretty incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're doing here. We got a gay guy, a girl. We got a black guy who does social. We've got everybody like <laughs> all of our boxes. Oh, you're shows. out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah we, he 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 is more gay than the gay guys who work here. So <laughs> I, we, I wish we were talking to a guy you about all kiss? the Spotify money floating around, and I was like, how do we get how do we get a bag like that? And it was like, just be gay, man. Because if you guys had your show and you were gay, it would be through the roof. My, I was like, we're so close to being gay anyway. Let's just fucking officially do it and get rip. paid for it. Um, my uh. Insta or my Wikipedia for a second said that I was trans and it was like the greatest week of my life. I was like, whoever did this should be knighted. I'm like, this is, first of all, I am like, there, people could be like, well, maybe the voice is so deep, you know, they're like, the shoulders are pretty broad, the tits are not there. Like, I could see them being like, maybe. And then I was like, oh, because Tim Dillon was always like, you should just tell people you're bi so you can say yes. all the words. Yes. Um, yeah, and he's got, the, I still, I'm like, until I see Tim Dillon suck somebody's dick, I just don't know. He's gay. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's a gay man he fucked me no. <laughs> um, that's such a Mark Norman I sucked his dick yeah. um, comedy I blew him <laughs> um, but no he's gay it's weird I know <laughs> you, it's yeah, weird to you, see a, uh, a big uh, Long Island man like yeah, that yeah yeah it's wacky just running around screaming with just the biggest shirt, looks like a tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> but he's gay. It's like Shirts I are huge. let's just hope he's a bottom. <laughs> I just uh, pray. <laughs> I pray for those twinks. <laughs> Dear Lord, they all leave with a limp. They end up showing up at my show. <laughs> Calling you trans, uh, that's a Isn't great. Isn't that so funny? But then you all, then you also become like You'd, you'd be really hot if you were trans. I really, like, <laughs> you know what guys, I mean? Like, you don't even know what I'm packing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to always say, because I used to work in so many kitchens, and I would always, I only know like Mexican kitchen uh, Spanish. Uh -huh. So I would always say, like, chupame la verga, solamente la verga, uh, no tengo panocha. Which is suck my dick. I only I have a dick. No, I don't have a vagina. <laughs> and then I would go, mira, mira, and I would give, do like a side pipe. I'd be like, look. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm swamp assing through my sweatpants. Jesus Christ, so Letterman. You guys, you guys. It is hot as fuck out there I today. Do, I am a full blown tourist and it's so embarrassing. Yeah. Like, How do I do it? Yeah. I'm like going to get mugged because I'm looking at directions. Mm -hmm. It's like so embarrassing. Yeah, you've gone soft. If I get mugged in fucking New York, you're how embarrassing a, is that? You're such a pussy. It's just so, I mean. I didn't get to, you can't bring your brass knuckles on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I love just having two brass knuckles on each, well, not on each, four. No, just two, on each hand as you're just walking ready around. ready to go. It feels so fucking good. <laughs> have you ever used them? I've never had to use them, no. Because, I mean, I feel like you would fucking split somebody's I'm ready. Face. I'm yeah. ready. Ready to do it? I'm always at just like a asking. five. Just I wish waiting. a motherfucker would. But you would. know what? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to not be like that. Like, I, I've, I've done a lot of work on my. I don't have road rage. I just made a choice to not really? have it. I just really? drop it. I just drop it. Mm. I just, this is not a place where I get upset. That's the only place I get upset. In, it's a great, in, well, because it is car. a good place because it's a private. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can let oh, it loose. I, say, I say fucking horrific things. Oh. Like it's well, we know what letter that stuns. That starts with. <laughs> it's pretty rude. Let's bring Miss Pat back in. I hope this is live. <laughs> No, it's crazy. It's it's. I used to like. I remember this one guy. Like, I got in a fight with him driving. He like cut me. I don't know who was at fault, but probably me because I'm a girl. But um, <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> I'm like probably was texting. Yeah, is that, is that why you stopped road rage? Because you just accepted it was your fault. It's. <laughs> it does help. It does help with a lot of things when you yeah. go. I am probably responsible for almost everything that's ever been upsetting in my life. <laughs> and then you go, okay. And then when you realize, you go, I could be responsible for all the good things too. <laughs> but I remember this guy like getting out of his car and he's like, "You're making it worse." And it was like, he was like this gay black guy, and it was like during the Trump stuff. And I think he was literally like having like a moment like that where he's like, "You're making meltdown. everything yeah, worse," and I'm yeah. like. I'm not just talking about the traffic. I was like, <laughs> I think you might be right. <laughs> I'm carrying in your ass. You're right. I was like, okay. Yeah, do you find it hard to be a white blonde? White, bl a white blonde woman no, right now is- No, it's really easy. Yeah. Actually. It's always been so easy. Um, no, I think, you know, it's well, it's hard when you can't like complain. You know, no, I mean, literally that. though, if you are a white blonde chick and you express any sort of like- I don't like something. You are instantly a bitchy Yeah, but as character. a comedian, I should be doing it in joke form anyway. Mm. You, why are you talking about with this shit you don't like? Shut up. Mm. Just, now you're just focus annoying. on the stuff you like. Yeah. Why? There's you don't need to like. I have, it, as far as like the Me Too movement, I have handled so many men in my life that it's mm -hmm. like I don't need to tweet a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like I know how to handle it without yeah, yeah. you don't like use it to your advantage. Yes, don't like you can really fuck with them. You yeah. can really, really. <laughs> I was getting I was going over these DMs. There was this guy that um, I'll, I'll tell you the show afterwards, but. Mm -hmm. Just because I have no, I don't, I have no horse in the game. It wasn't that bad, but he was married to like this icon. Okay, mm -hmm. growing up, this female icon. And icon is strong. Just, I mean, really incredible. Okay. And he was working on the show, and I had tweeted about liking the show. And he, like, saw he must have been searching because I didn't tag the show mm -hmm. or anything. He was looking for it, mm -hmm. and he like DM'd me like. That I was his Twitter crush, and I was like, I know you're fucking married to. And yeah. then, so I just like wrote something nice back, like, oh, the show's great or whatever. And then he was like, you have to let me take you out for a coffee. And then I just never talked to him again. Mm -hmm. And then that week, I tweeted, I, I had been in a relationship for three years, and I just tweeted like something. I said, um, 
Uh, every time you get goosebumps, it's because your ex-boyfriend's dad is making eye contact with one of your selfies. <laughs> and then the sec, the next one was, um, it was just my two tweets of the week. And my other tweet was like, I just did the dishes for the first time in my three-year relationship and I didn't get a standing ovation. Like, I'll never do another chore in my life. <laughs> and he wrote me, that guy wrote me to go, dads and dishes, understood, be well. Like, he thought I was like tweeting at him. I was like, this guy's fuck? so crazy. So then I ignored it. And then just went on with my life ignoring him. And I told my agent about it. He's like, you gotta get a meeting with him. You gotta go for the coffee. I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm what funny. What a fucking agent brain. No, but there's oh, so this is great. People, they don't understand. I'm like, I'm actually good. Like, you don't understand. Like, that's for people that aren't funny. Yeah, like, I don't yeah, gotta yeah, do yeah. anything I don't wanna do. Like, right. it, give it some time, it'll work out. And boy, is it. Um, <laughs> But, and then I was like just going through this because we we're just laughing because then he wrote me again like a couple years later or a year later like you're, um, he went, you're, you're warm cream on a banana pie or something like so. What? Gross and weird and cheesy, and I ignored that. The and word then he wrote cream me again in, in the wrong setting. Is like whoa. there's I would I would beg to say there's no good setting except like, maybe shaving. I was gonna cream. say shaving cream and like maybe whipped cream, and that's it. Otherwise, you're saying whip it. Anyone else? <laughs> I even I when people are like I like heavy cream in my coffee. I'm like yeah, Ew, like, come up with a different fucking word yeah. for that. Yeah, it's not a great it word. It shouldn't be heavy, a heavy load. I mean, cream. <laughs> but so, um, yeah, we should call cream loads. That's so much better. <laughs> call it nut. <laughs> call it busting. Um, oh, my God. That was my favorite, like, hooking with Philly guys when I was, and they're like, I'm going to bust. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they always ended up getting busted and going to jail. That, by the way. Every time. It's like, oh, little do you know, you are busted. I'm like, you're I'm gonna, gonna get... bust. I'm about to bust. But um, so. <laughs> I don't. I can. I can definitively say I've never said I'm about. I'm to about to bust. To bust girl. With, with We're not a fair uh, yeah. match anymore then. <laughs> um, but so okay, so. so what the, the fuck was I talking the about? The guy. The guy. Okay, uh, so then. Okay, so then. The cream, during right? all of the, Me Too stuff. He writes me again and he goes, hey, I think I might have creeped you out. <laughs> <laughs> that That is something I'd not, like to see. It's funny that he has like the fear of it. It's like almost yeah. like the fear of it's like so much more powerful. Yeah. But I also yeah. like, I don't care. It's like, I, I'm, I'm a big girl. It wasn't, it wasn't that, a problem for me. It, You, during the Me Too movement, if you had DMs, you could wield that like a fucking sword. Dude, it like was that uh, that's I think the uh, the apologies are what I would love to see more than like the the creepy slides. I want to see the, the guys squirming <laughs> being like, "Please don't put this shit I, out." I the public <laughs> apologies were good too. Um, sorry. The yeah. public <laughs> apologies were so good too cuz they always started out as like as a father of daughters. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Or, or the I'm a god-fearing man or all this. So shit. funny. It was always like just read the other ones and just pick a new one. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I hope Cuomo gets help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not perverted. I'm Italian. Is what's happening to your all time city now? What's gonna happen? I don't know. Who it cares? Keeps, like, I'm so over the fucking same politics. fucking thing. It'll just be like overrun with homeless people, and you know, it'll just keep going. This place is like a self. I like these bag. homeless people better so much, though. They've been through more. Dude, there was there was a guy today. He had a coffee can. Yo. Just shaking it, right? The the huge coffee, yeah, can, right? the big one, and there was like you know a couple quarters. He had a big it gulp. Was, yeah. It was so <laughs> disruptive. I was like, this is horribly annoying. Bro, I was that like, that is give a you dollar bill, so you just fucking. Stop. That's the way that you um, get a dog to stop barking. You put shaking. pennies in yeah, a can. They, yeah, they, they freak out over that. It's yeah. real. Yeah, Bro, well, was, and it worked on humans too. I was like, God. That's damn. how you get people to give you bills. Yeah. <laughs> he he got my attention. He goes. Bro, I love Taylor Swift. I was like, <laughs> That's you so yeah. funny. <laughs> I appreciate the hustle, but you're lying. You're yeah. lying. Do you love her? Hey man, just so you know, no. I can see you. Okay? <laughs> do you love Taylor Swift? I do love Taylor Swift, yes. Yeah, right? It's a weird thing, right? <laughs> and it, like a, an unhealthy obsession amount. But I don't love, I feel like I don't love anyone. I feel kind of sad about that. I'm not like a fan of things. Except actually reality shows. I do. I am. I like reality stars. What's your favorite uh, movie? I like movie? Yeah. Um, or one of them, Black you know. Widow. When she dies, it's like so sad. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Um, or artist or type of music? I do. I like your song by Elton John. Um, <laughs> that's just a song my dad used to, <laughs> used to play. Weird. She's not dead. I'm still alive. Um, when I think about you, I touch myself by the Divine Olds, my dad, and my favorite song. Um, it's number one. Do you watch favorite. TV shows? Other than I reality? watch. I watch. Um, no. What do you fucking do, Letter? Yeah, what do you do? Just Comedy. That's I'm it? joking. I'm having fun. I'm yeah. fucking meditating. I'm manifesting. You meditate? I do uh, hypnosis. 
So really? It changed my life. I'll never live in a car again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to brag, guys, but I'm not living in a car for a third to fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> no sirree. You won't catch me back and here. And that is because they the repossessed my car. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be actually homeless this time. What, did, what, did, what, what happened with the hypnosis? I just changed my subconscious beliefs about money. I had like a thing where I was like, I don't deserve money, and I would just fucking repel it. And now I just, I literally started doing it. Why don't you so tell much. my boy this, this story over here? <laughs> I'll send you stuff. I'll send you stuff. How about this? Why don't you just like, just self, just, 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 just diagnose this for a second. Okay. Um, someone comes up to you and says like, hey man, I like your shoes. And you just go like, you can just have them. And you just take them off Aww. on the spot and swap sneakers okay, with them. Okay, I have some questions. How, now, how, hypothetically, what do you think of that? Did he put the coins in that afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, okay, so. Also, just a little extra tidbit. What if uh, those sneakers you were wearing were given to you? Uh, it was a gift from your podcast partner. I actually think that's so funny to give away a gift like that. Yeah, I've was... done that before. And the friend has gotten mad at me. And As since... he told the story, I was like, wait a minute. I gave what you shoes those. were they? They were uh, a pair of like Travis Scott Air Max. Why did they you give like, them to him? Uh, he was just being did good to me. Did you get them me. for free? No, no, I paid for them. Do you yeah. make more money than him and you feel guilty and you say to buy things? <laughs> no. No, but th but but when you talk about repelling money, like Okay, like, but what I need to know some things. So okay. what was what was the situation growing up? What did your family say about money? What did your parents say about money? What did you learn about money as a kid? Nothing. <laughs> what did they say? They must have said something. Did I they have money? Did they give you allowance? They, they had money, yes. And they gave you allowance? Um no. Were they like money doesn't matter? Yeah, kind of. So money doesn't matter to them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it. Yeah. You nailed it. Yep. Yeah, pretty much done. Yeah. Pretty much done there. And hey, what, I you, what would do you like, want to say? And I'll be sending the bill. <laughs> I can get the test. I am gonna get trained in hypnosis. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna like go on stage and make people cluck like chickens or something. But I'm gonna do some fucking crazy. Dude, my my dad did some hypnosis. Uh, to you? No, no, no. But he did to my mom. He's like, you're so getting mom... sleepy. But that was your dick. It wasn't a thing. <laughs> Y'all getting sleepy. My mom had this spot like right here that she it was like an itchy spot that would like never stop itching and, it just, and like, he was, drove it was crazy. pissing him on, it was pissing him off pissing everybody off yeah and so he <laughs> so he did this hypnosis thing and he like lulled her to sleep and he was gonna get rid of it and he, he said he like took it from here and put it on her hand and it worked but now she just has a fucking itchy hand. I just, and she's I, now like, I think you it dumb to asshole. <laughs> like, now I'm itchy. yeah. <laughs> but now she just sits there scratching. It's like she was like, why, why didn't you just, you just like it? throw it out in the garbage or something? You should have put it in her idiot. asshole. That been so funny. She just scratch her butthole the whole time. Have fun with it, Dad. Live a little. That's so funny. Take people's ailments and because I like pretend worked, I, this kid was like screaming and hollering in the front of one of my shows in Utah, and I was like, what are this what? kid? Like how old? 23 okay. i was like what bipolar are you he was like two i was like i knew it <laughs> and um and then later like through the show i was like hold on i'm gonna i was like i'm a shaman and i put my glasses on and i went over and i like shook his head and i was like you're cured and then he started barking <laughs> he's a fucking dog <laughs> like so fun my shows have been so fun yeah like that i mean the weirdos happening. man the, the freaks come out it's to just the like it's you need to good. do something like the freaks tour and just like lean into it and have all the weirdos of the world come out well christy show. did you see his his merch drop yeah I was like, you fucking are stealing my audience. <laughs> I mean, the guy with little hands. No, I was like, was those he are had, mine. He has like, uh, you know, Uncle Titi. His, yeah. 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 So like, she is is uh, modeling it, and then there's this guy who has like no arms, he's got but just he has like, like little, little hands. hands. He, just has, he just has like a. Freak those guys show. get so much pussy Model, too, and yeah. you should honestly don't like pity them. They get a lot of pussy because girls are like, we'll go up and go. Oh my god, your little hands! <laughs> like you think so. Hundred percent. Yeah. Really? Hundred percent. Well, not normal? all girls. Are you just projecting right now? <laughs> not all girls. No, 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 but I, I talked to them. Not all girls, just like blonde well, comics who've been through a lot in Philadelphia. Who <laughs> <laughs> they'll fuck them, but I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> That's the guy. That is so weird when you're on stage saying a joke and you're like, you know, how we all do that. <laughs> Staring at you. Going, yes. Oh. Yo, that that's that, that oh is God. the that is the one thing. Like we don't we don't, we're not comics, but we used to write a lot of blogs, and we'd always put in like that's the little, saddest thing I've ever. Hey, heard. listen, it worked we're out pretty comics, well. It we, worked out we, pretty we, well. <laughs> but anytime I would put something like personal in there, I'd be like, you know, how guys will you know do this and press publish, and then everyone's like, no, we don't. Nobody do that. And did I was that. Like, hey, we, you know, we, no, that was that was just. The, oh my God, which one of you is the James Franco in that? Is that James Franco? That's James Franco and and Seth Rogen. Which one's the Seth Rogen? Who? Which one's the um? I I have an annoying laugh, so I'm gonna go Rogen. 
Okay. So you're the mom. Uh, I was going to say, I'm the fucking <laughs> Me Too guy? Great. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of skated on that, no? Isn't it? But it was his was kind of good because it was like he was like, I have an acting school, and they would go to the acting school. And he's like, There's only one price of admission. <laughs> the James Franco acting school is. It's so funny. He was like a professor at NYU. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, why? It's like think about it. If a man oh. who has already a good job that's fun. Goes, I want to have an annoying job where I'm grading papers. Think. Yeah, let's use our brains on that one. What might be the like, reason he's, he's like, doing that? He's like, I'd like that. to nine to five this beautiful, fun life. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Cuomo does next? What do you I do if you're a disgraced governor? Does he not have his nipples? Doesn't Italian? he have his nipples pierced? What? <laughs> Was that a joke? In just I a picture? feel like I've heard that. I, for some reason, I feel like I've heard that. I'm. There's no chance. I am absolutely willing to bet he does not he's have pierced such nips. Such a fucking pervert. I mean, <laughs> there, if, you, if you're a man with pierced nips, you're you a are. <laughs> you are. A I had you my are nipples pierced. Guido Guinea pervert, though. <laughs> I had my nipples pierced when I was a teenager, and then my mom set me up with this other guy who had his nipple pierced. So I was like, no. "What did you think we're gonna like link because them? of that?" <laughs> because of like she I'm knew like you. keep looking at you I'm like there's a girl uh, this is the picture like that's just a hairy chest that's just a hairy guido chest that's just, that's just let me see I, I think that's that's uh, breast cancer is there anything funnier though than if that is a barbell <laughs> that'd be very very funny that would be really really fucking funny <laughs> he probably is a would prince you fuck no, um, now maybe. <laughs> I like a fallen man. <laughs> <laughs> I like a man who needs me. I I feel Remember like homosexuals were a thing. Homosexuals, yeah. Well, that like dumb that was fucking like, Noah, no, whatever his name is, was like I'm a homosexual. It's Who's so funny. Uh, the Daily Show guy, what's his oh, name? Trevor now? Noah. Trevor, Trevor Noah. Noah. <laughs> and now it's like that's not a great soundbite to have floating around. <laughs> Putting the no in Trevor Noah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we as professional piercers, if Cuomo actually has nipple rings, I mean, this is fucking wacky. Imagine that, like you went to work for the day and it's like, what'd you do today? It's like, well, I did an internet investigation on whether this old guy That's what your entire job is. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. Kevin, you're right. that's your full job. You're right. As I said it, I was like, this is exactly something I, I would do. I can see your face fall, your ginger face. <laughs> you're a fucking So how old are your liar. kids? Uh, five and a half and, and four. That's crazy. Yeah. How old are you? How old do you think I am? Are you my age? How old are you? I think I'm older than you. 38. 36. Oh, my God. It's crazy to have kids when you're, what, you were 31? When I had them, I was like 30 and 31. <gasps> Doesn't yeah. that seem like a like a teen pregnancy at this point? I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God, how are you ready? Yeah, I, there are times that I, like, I... Been doing this and I just out loud would be like, Isn't it crazy that I have kids? And everyone's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah this is fucking nuts. But it's not, it's like, it's we're not, the fucking is, weirdos. I feel like right when I did it was when things were like really shifting. Like, I feel like when I got married and had kids, it was totally how old are you when you got married? It was like 29. We had kids like right away. My, so yeah, like, my that was got normal. At 27, which but, seemed insane. But now, like, right after it, I think it was like, You're crazy if you do any of this before you're like 34. Are you still married? No. I didn't see a ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no more marriage, but kids are still there. So They're kids cute. are a little That's more great. permanent than that. No, but I was surprised. I was like, oh, this motherfucker has kids? Yeah. I was like, that is crazy. It's like such a like twist when you, you're like, this person made a choice to grow Plot up and twist. be like totally regular. And uh, it's crazy. It's, <laughs> it's a very weird existence that I don't think but many no, people are doing. No, it's weirder to not have kids because this is what I'm realizing. All my friends go fucking nuts because you're at this age, you're supposed to like be paying attention to something that's not yourself. <laughs> and if you're just paying attention to yourself, you're a psycho, dude. Yeah. Everyone's going yeah, nuts. Yeah, I guess that's, but guess what? I'm a psycho too <laughs> because because they'll drive you crazy also. Yeah. So, you know, it's like you either be crazy with all your money and your free time yeah. or crazy without it. <laughs> well, picked. stop buying people's shoes. Um, <laughs> to buy your co-host's shoes when you have two children is pretty dirty <laughs> <laughs> all right uh let's go do answer the internet present to get you down shoes. i feel like yes. you're gonna crush answer the internet well, no I pressure hope so no. if i don't we're reshooting <laughs> 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 it's in my contract everybody uh go follow her and listen to her podcast and shit follow me you have to type my entire name in i'm shadow banned Oh, are you? Oh, really? It's so annoying. Oh, that is, so then we actually do need to plug it for you. You literally Annie have to, Letterman. the entire thing, A-N-N-I-E-L-E-D-E-R, man. And then you have to scroll through all of the fake accounts that are yeah. made. Yeah. All the way down to the say? one. I have no clue. Or you think it was just a culmination of you? I don't know. <laughs> the fact don't that know, Zuckerberg like, was just like, 
the whole thing. <laughs> like, why are we shadow, shadow banning her? Just because of all of I'm it. I'm like, can I just be friends with people that are friends with Alex Jones? <laughs> can I just be friends? Can I be second degrees friends? Yeah, that was like you went on, on Rogan too much, and that was it. I mean, I guess, but I'm um, like. One of my favorite videos is you on, I don't know what you were on, talking about when Rogan doesn't get your jokes, though. <laughs> uh, you made like a Third Reich joke. You know oh, what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah. It was a very good joke. I, when he, I was, couldn't believe it when he was, I was like, no. Because first of all, he painted me into a corner. He goes, I said, you know, I just feel like everyone has the right to believe what they want. But he goes, even the Nazis. I'm like, you fucking, in my head, yeah. I'm going, you yeah. fucking. And then it took me one split second. I go, you they have the I went, they have the third right. And he goes, isn't it Reich? Yes. <laughs> you motherfucker. Yes, it's Reich. Yes. I literally did that in point. That was brutal. It did was you like, see uh, Shane Gillis? I didn't, but I heard it was. Uh, <laughs> it was. So it made bad. me wanna like chop my own head off. It but I insane. love it. It's like, and, and, and it was not. Sh you know, it was Rogan again. It was like Shane. I, I think <laughs> Rogan stopped listening for a moment. To be honest, I think he was like distracted. No, and, I, and, that and, is and what Shane it was is. Like, eh? Eh? That is what it is. And he's he like just, high or and something. And you know, he sits there all like straight up. He's just like, oh yeah, man. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, man. That's well, yeah, it's fuck. Well, he also at one point in that interview went. Wah, wah, and I went, no, no, no. I, st I went, time out. We're no, not doing no. that. We're not doing that. I was like, I pulled this from here and this from here, and I brought it together. It was brilliant. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, what's going on? Don't you, you judge okay? me, Joe like, Rogan. Well, I wasn't sure. The first time I did it, I wasn't sure if it would like turn his audience like against me and they would think I wasn't funny. And then when I realized they don't care and they all just like time stamped all of my jokes, I was like, Rogan, you can say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. There was one joke I didn't make that I like, I wake up every night screaming the last time i was on was like two days after the they had done the sky writing that said joe rogan is literally five three did you see that <laughs> and i just didn't we just went right into the show so i didn't get a chance to talk to him about it so i just didn't know he doesn't care about stuff like that i'm sure he didn't give a fuck right it didn't affect him in any way but i just didn't get a chance to say anything to him before it so i didn't want to bring it up but in the middle of the interview he goes i go how old are you he goes 53 and i wanted to go oh that's what they meant they said uh, joe rogan's literally 53 <laughs> but i like you didn't hesitate do it? i didn't oh. do it and i like think that will haunt time. you for the rest and of your life he wouldn't care he wouldn't no. care that will haunt you literally I Apparently, jokes dead. are five four. Um, <laughs> no, I love, he does get jokes. He just gets high and can't fucking understand a thing. I love him. Someone on I did like a you know ask me anything on my Instagram. Apparently jokes are five And someone four. was like, "How can you be friends with Joe Rogan?" And I'm like, "He's the best." Yeah, I mean, are you fucking Papa? kidding me? I mean, he's literally Yo, the most amazing. he is like he's the so best sweet. dude to be friends he's so with. So awesome. He like helps everybody professionally. He's, he's so got cool. money. He's friendly. Like he's like he's like he. I've had conversations with Rogan where we're like in a green room and he's like, you're my sister for life. And I'm like, yeah. oh, it's just like, he's like a family member. It's just so Yeah, no, so good. I mean, that's, that's. But it's all people just get mad because he has like Alex Jones. I don't know what it is. It's like that type of thing. I, I, I would have put my own, if I was Joe Rogan, I would have done my own like skywriting and been like, Joe Rogan literally has like 200 million. <laughs> I'm fuck how tall I am, you idiots. I know, that's so funny. He doesn't, know, but he would never care about that. No. And then everyone's like, so you're 5'1 or something. Like <laughs> he's taller, he is f taller than 5'2 as well. He's not literally 5'2. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk right. about my king that way. Let's go. You want the good news or the bad news? Well, you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, I always go good news first. All right, the good news is when we started this shit, only 10% of people watching our YouTube videos were subscribed. And now it's up to 40%. So that's almost like a 50-50 split. That's a 30% increase. A little math for you. That's, that's the good news. Too much math for me, but it's good news. You know what the bad news is? That still means 60% of you motherfuckers aren't subscribed. It still it's means the majority. It's good thing I asked first, because that would have been backwards. That would have been terrible, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I was like, well, the good news is... It's a yeah. good thing I no. fucking go good news first. 60% still just freeloading off of our videos. And guess what? It's YouTube. You're all freeloading. It's not really all... The only cost is to push the fucking button. Just push it. Push the button. Push it. Push it real good. Push it real good! 